is it's about time that figgy pudding comes back no, it's fuck. been decades no. Monty, don't demonetize us! Oh, I almost did. Thank you, Mark. Get out of here. <sighs> what? What did? What? What did I do? I'm just going to bat for a dessert that is traditional. It is long-standing, and whether you like it or not, I think we should stop banning it. You know, I've gone to a bunch of Christmas parties where they're like, "Don't bring figgy pudding," and I'm like, what, "Where's this hatred coming from?" Half of y'all have never it even is, had it figgy pudding. It's from the fruitcake hatred. That's where it's coming from. Yeah, I was about to I say. I love fruitcake. Fruit cake? You're, Mark, why are you here? What is wrong so with you? You're so weird. What's wrong with fruitcake? You're cake? a freak. You're a freak. I'm a freak because I like fruit and cake at the same time. You also probably like candy corn, don't you? I do like candy corn. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. But not the, not the pumpkin candy corns, just the regular candy corn. Ah. Do you, do, you like so, those, do you like those circus peanuts, those spongy ass circus? No. Peanuts? Okay. No, but that's a okay. texture thing. Okay, you, you have some redemption in your blood, I see. And to oh, clarify, what? I don't like figgy pudding because of the texture, but the taste is fine. And I, I really do enjoy fruitcake, especially if you use dates. <sighs> very, very good. I've Can never I? had. Any of I've, that. <laughs> I've never had figgy pudding. I don't know what the hate is about, but I'm upset about the fruitcake thing because that's very what? valid. Who hate? What? I don't understand why anyone would hate <laughs> fruitcake. You know because what? It's Here, like here's the soft... follow-up question. No, no, don't you get me started, Mark Allen Jr. On, <laughs> this is on, a very, on... It's a softball follow-up <laughs> question, okay? If you don't like fruitcake, do you also dislike raisin bread? Yes. Yes. Okay. So yes! that's odd. that's fair and makes sense to me. If you liked one and not the other, there'd be a problem. I like both, so that makes sense to me, too. Man, I, I bet you're the type of person who loves just eating a cookie and there's just aquarium gravel mixed into the batter. <laughs> the and you're like, oh, delicious. Mm, my favorite. What the no. How did we leap in that equating, logic? How are you <laughs> equating raisins and cinnamon in bread to to aquarium gravel in a cookie? <laughs> Sorry, I'm with Mark on this one, Monty. What the fuck are you on about? I hate, I hate <laughs> there it is. any pastry. I hate it is like aquarium gravel in anything. It's just like, why? I hate it. You hate anything in a pastry? No, I love many things in a pastry, but nuts and and fruit, like dried oh, leathery God, ass back fruit, on are not on that. So you don't no. like lemon bread? I have had lemon bread. Lemon bread is fine because the texture is consistent and not interrupted by evil. Okay, so huh? you've never had lemon bread with like the lemon bits in it. I've had I've had lemon bread with like like I've had like zucchini muffins and shit that have kind of like a pulpiness to it, but it it's soft, it's palatable, and it's small enough that it does not interrupt the the chewing and the enjoyment of the texture. All right. See, I'm on the other end. I want something in it to give it substance, because otherwise I'm just chewing on mushy the sponginess for like an hour. Cookie. What are you talking about? Welcome to the dessert <laughs> review stream, chat. I don't like squishy bread. It tastes, it's its like I'm eating Play-Doh, but it, like it, soft. Dude, no, shut up. It hits an unga bunga part of your crave caveman brain. That's just like, this is kind of like raw oh. flesh, but if it tasted good. Yeah, okay, so, so now we're, so you, you just lost so you, everybody, Monty. <laughs> so you eat, so you eat fruitcake and figgy pudding, but you don't eat Play-Doh, Mark? What's wrong with you? <laughs> They're not the same. Damn, I'm, damn, I'm happy. I'm just over here liking both. Holy shit, two I cakes. I don't believe They're this. They're not the same. <laughs> If my saliva, my, if my, my saliva, if my pre-digestion saliva doesn't break down the fucking structure of the food I'm eating before it goes down my gullet, I don't want to eat it. If I Monty, have to why do you have teeth? All right, because... all right, no, 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 absolutely not. Hi, guys, welcome into the unexpected. I'm taking over because this is ridiculous. We're going to go around the horn. I'm sorry, Connor. You can do it from here. Gaijin Goomba, what are you up to and where can they find you? Just watching this dumpster fire. <laughs> no, that's fine. You can find me twitch.tv slash gaijigoob every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Central Time. I am still sick, so if I sound weird or make gross mouth noises and don't mute myself, I apologize. Uh, I, I dropped a brand new video. Well, it's not brand new. New video uh, about a week ago talking about the most crazy ass, amazing arcade I've ever been in Japan and why you should go there if you ever have the opportunity. Uh, it's different, I admit, but 
I'm really proud of it, and I had a lot of fun playing together. Hopefully, I will have a quick turnaround on this next video that I'm working on. I'm doing a gigantic-ass culture review of Godzilla Minus One, because there is a half hour's worth of crap that I need to say that nobody else is saying, and it's irritating me. So, that's going to be fun. Uh, aside from that, I'm... You know what I'm really trying to do, gang? I'm, I'm trying to find an arena fighter to play in, like, community streams and whatnot, and I am struggling. Digimon it's Battle like, Arena. Or Rumble Arena, that's what it is. And I, hard. I, I, I don't know. It's like, I I really want to do Unreal Tournament, but it's, Ooh. like, from... But it's from, like, 2009 and not very stable on Steam. It's also um, a shooter. There's also uh, Quake Champions, which... It's better, it's more stable, it's it's still fun, but goddamn the loading screens, and it's got more menus than freaking Fortnite. Uh, guys, so, I wish team. I wish we could play Jabroni Brawl, but this team. there is no there is no uh there is no onboarding and there's no port forwarding and the servers on there are filled with the most heinous people on the planet. Yeah. So it's not happening for a while. Yeah. What about Team Fortress 2? Uh, I would love. I would. I would. Aww. I would love to. Monty, I would love to stream Team Fortress Two if people didn't chase me down with the uh, the the what's the stupid sign, um, the the obje uh, uh, conscious objector, uh, with horrible horrible slurs specifically to get me banned off Twitch. Oh, fair enough. So once once Valve fixes that little whoopsie doops, which they never will, because they're Valve, I will stream it again. But until then, <sighs> anyway, uh, I'm also working on a really big project for January. I can't talk about it right now, but it's very different from what I normally do because I want to do something new. I've been doing the same crap for like 10 years. I need to do more than just what I'm doing. So sorry, that's me. Bosco immediately got rid of his job. It sure did. Stole it from Connor I, I, and then just I'm, left I'm, the factory. I just had to get y'all to stop. All right, you want me to keep going, Zito? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Holy shit, I'm next? That's crazy. You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito. You know what I do. I do indie games. I talk about fake mon because it's a hyper fixation of just making stupid shit up because I just like designing things. Speaking of designing things, uh, last day of Toothpick. He only has 14 hours yet uh, left to live. You can still buy one right now. He is... Uh, he made quota, so he's not gonna die. So if you're worried about if he's even gonna be a thing or not, no, he's gonna be real, but you still have 14 more hours if you haven't picked one up yet for all those who said, oh, I'll wait till Wednesday to pay for it. Yeah, you only got 14 more hours. Hurry up. Hurry the fuck up. <laughs> also, congratulations on your baby boy. I know he's real. I can't. Yeah, that was real. that was touch and go there for a minute. It, it was touch and go, and then all of a sudden someone just went, "Hey, I'll buy fifteen in one go, dude. That's four hundred and fifty dollars. What are you talking about?" Yes, They're and cute though. They're so cute. I gotta be real with you. If I ever do another plush, uh, I'm not gonna do it on a service that has a timeline. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna be looking at the more things if I'm gonna do a physical item in the future elsewhere. Makeshift's not bad company. I can't handle the stress of a deadline. <laughs> we, we need to be able to make miniatures because mm. it would be it would be overall cheaper. It would fit on everyone's desk. Like, it would be so much more perfect. Well, that's something to look forward to in the future. And you know you can find me on Sunday playing cards and punishing myself with aptly the Wheel of Punishment. You, if you give me $5 or 500 bits, I will spin the Wheel of Punishment and make my streaming a living hell. Nice. Mark, you're doing a lot of talking. Where can they find you? What are you doing? You can find me on Twitter and Blue Sky at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. Find me over on TikTok at Mark Allen Jr. VA. And you can follow the adventures of my brand new pirate queen overlord, Bunny the Cat, on Instagram at chonk for life Hey, kids, you like anime? Well, do you like, do you like watching anime with, like, people you know in it maybe then you should check out that time i got reincarnated as a slime visions of coleus because uh one mark allen jr might happen to be uh like the big bad villain in that uh three period or three episode o uh o n a i think it's called technically hey, check it out funimation crunch roll whatever uh watch it in english or japanese however you feel like but uh i got to play a villain which is not something i get to do very often so had a blast with it check it out if you're interested in that kind of thing uh other than that i just had a stream on sunday which 
wasn't on Sunday. It was actually on Monday because my computer issues were still an issue, but they've been resolved. So we did our three hour music challenge stream on Monday, made a trance track with probably one of the most complex bass lines I've ever made. So that was cool. Uh, that'll be happening again this upcoming Sunday, assuming I'm not dead tired because the rest of the week is going to be a little busy. Um, hopefully a stream on Friday. I'm trying to figure out how to make it work. Uh, scheduling is kind of a nightmare this week. Um, but if I do stream on Friday, uh, it will be a game of some kind. It's been a minute since we did that. So, uh, look forward to that. Uh, updates as always on Twitter and Bluesky. That's it for me. Go watch Slime. It was awesome. Nice. Xanalus Grim, what be you doing? That's me. Uh, you can find me Thursdays over on Monty Glue's channel, uh, twitch.tv slash Monty Glue, where I play a sad human fighter uh, during her Dungeon of the Mad Mage that starts around 7 p.m. PST. You can also find me Monday evenings at 7 p.m. PST over at twitch.tv slash Analyst Grim, where I run a D&D campaign for Bosco, Monty, and a few of our other friends that you, you might know of or friends of the channel. And on Tuesday evenings, uh, we recently started Halo 4 Lasso. Uh, yay. <laughs> um, that's been a time, and we're going to try to finish that as soon as we possibly can. Uh, aside from that, I got some other stuff in the works I can't quite talk about yet, or at least give specific timelines on, so I won't. And that's me. Very nice. And how could we possibly forget our DM extraordinaire, Monty Glue? What are you doing? Oh my god, I'm writing the intro. Calm down. <laughs> uh, gosh, I'm doing so much. Uh, you, can, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me Monty Glue on Blue Sky. Uh, I also have a Discord and I have a YouTube, which is also Monty Glue. Uh, on Thursdays, we have Dungeon of the Mad Mage. And no, we are not canceling for the Game Awards. Get out of here with that <laughs> nonsense. Um, We're in here. Hog shoe. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Uh, they're currently in a bit of a, a sticky wicket as they've discovered that the floor that they're on uh, shares uh, is shared with a death tyrant, which is very scary. <laughs> What? Yeah, they come the corner at a wrong moment, and we're like, "Oh, oh no!" <laughs> you done goofed. That's yeah. a that's that's a TPK right there. Oh, it, it was a little spooky. You know what the worst part the is? Worst. You know what the worst part is? It fucked off and left them a message saying you have to sleep sometime, which is absolutely the worst. <laughs> 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 Oof. Um. You can also find me on Friday playing Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, we're currently doing uh, a Realm Reborn post dungeons. Uh, so if you want to join me in a dungeon, uh, you can come and hang out with me uh, in the game. We actually picked up a straggler. We, we met a random person on the road. We all travel together in giant packs of chocobos. It's really fun. So if you want to check it out, they, yeah, we do move in herds, dude. So if you want to check that out, that's on Friday. If you want to join me, you can join me in game, just as long as you don't, you know, you're not distracting because I can get you into some trouble. Uh, and then Monday, we're back with Mass Effect. Uh, I am a sniper god. Also, the sun is a deadly laser. Um, <laughs> I remember we've, that. <laughs> we've been recruiting. We've been re-recruiting some friends. Uh, it's been a really great time. Also, I really love Kasumi. She's a gossip, and I love her so much. She's very. Oh my good. god. But yes, that's everything for me. That poor bug. All right, Connor, take us home. Hello. I'm Distortion Devil, otherwise known as Connor. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Tumblr, and Blue Sky at Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, be sure uh, to check out my DMs Guild. I released the Fulgromancer Spellbook. Um, be sure to be on the lookout for the Photomancer Spellbook, the light-based spells. Uh, that will be coming out when it's out. I'm not going to set a time for it because last time I was horrendously late. Um, but yes, also. Um, what else am I doing? Oh, uh, you can also hear me as one of the games that has been nominated in the Game Awards. Uh, as Adrian Bakunin in Ghost Runner 2. Let's go. That's cool. I still got to play that game. <laughs> Uh, other than that, uh, I don't really have much else to talk about. You can uh, also find except... Edward Bosco at 
sorry. <laughs> he's to make sure to he got in there. Out. Yeah, yeah. Search Edward, Edward Bosco. You'll find him. Yeah. Sorry, continue. Yeah. Um, and this episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Ice. Die Hard Dice! Die Hard Dice! That's right. Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to DieHardDice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order. You can pick up some Lies Aspect Dice, the official collaboration between the Unexpectables and Die Hard Dice. And... I'm using mine today, actually. I have my lies dice out. The prototypes. Oh, we're in trouble. Yeah. I'm gonna die. I rolled a two immediately, Mark. You're not in trouble. <laughs> well, was that an attack or a chance for us to find something really good? Because... Who knows? Connor, where can people use their dice to find out if it was something good or something bad? Uh, the, they can... They can use it... They can use it in the real world. Die hard Obviously. dice! Wow! <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Using the code that I said earlier. Nice. Uh, also check out our spring store. We got all sorts of designs that can uh, be basically anything you would possibly want. It's just slap the design on a sticker, on a mug, on a water bottle, on a t-shirt. A whole bunch of crazy stuff over at our spring store. As well. Uh... We couldn't do this week in, week out, without bits and subs from viewers like you. Bits and subs. Bits and subs. Uh, bits and subs from people such as 20BMG, thank you for the 37 months. DRK Gannon, thank you for the 42 months, month number 21, plus 21. Uh, Glorschnack Eater of Children, thank you for the 11 months. <laughs> or 11, <laughs> uh, 11 months, Every rather. Time. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, Gavin's Prophet, thank you for the five bits. Zanu Kamizana, thank you for the year of seven. Year in, glad to be here live. Hope y'all have a good night. McLovin, thank you for the 27 months. Hey, love the show. Shiny Lamp, thank you for the 43 months. How you feeling, Monty? I, I have a bit of a cough, but I'm feeling better. Mm -hmm. uh, Mikon Pachi, thank you for the 20 months. It was the night before Christmas, all through Easton Vale. Not an undead was stirring, for the king had been felled. Also, uh, is Santa going in the Agni Odyssey? <laughs> we gotta only fight him Gai first. Only if Gaius gets to defeat him in battle. Santa is an Archfey. I was yeah, gonna say, good fucking luck. Yeah, going good to luck. Your your He's a level kicked. 40 Archfey. <laughs> and immortal. That won't stop, guys. <laughs> I love a challenge. What's your power level? <laughs> Stop <laughs> asking that! Nobody cares! Mm, mine's big. <laughs> Gauze21, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, IDC Witch, thank you for the 10 months. Uh, since there'll be a minute before Gateway restarts, here's a shout out to the best Saturday show on the Unexpectables channel, Gateway. That's right. Uh, Wedward, thank you for the 45 uh, wait, no, thank you for the 37 months. Prim Pete, thank you for the 16, uh, months. After a year off, I've returned. I love this show. It took me two months to catch up, and now I watch live. First, for the first time in Campaign 2. Weebox. Welcome. Glorchnack, eater of children, thank you for the 210 bits. <laughs> uh, I stopped eating some of my dice, uh, and with my aberrant intelligence, I have used them to capture my food. I, I, see, I, see. I just imagine Glorkschnark is just like an, a demon boogeyman just sitting in front of like a computer with like a razor mouse pad and just, just watching the stream. I imagine it's, it's, an, it's an old monitor from the early 2000s. Yeah, yeah CR, exactly. It's a fucking CRT TV. <laughs> <laughs> just a reminder, do not consume your diehard dice. Your stomach acid will eat through them and then you'll find out what's inside of them. And don't eat children. Uh, Emerald Bandit, thank you for the 39 months. Uh, so unexpected, I'm off in time to enjoy the stream. Hey. hey. Tarius, thank you for the 22 months. Do you want a taco? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. King Shinrock, thank you for the 31 months. Constable Mutton, thank you for the 44 months. Arguing over food is the way of civilization. <laughs> <laughs> kind of is, yeah. Meek the Basis, thank you for the 44 months. Best part of Night Shift is Unexpectables Wednesday. 
Glorksnack, Eater of Children. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, dice have the same crunch as nuts when put in food. Incorrect. <laughs> Let him cook. I don't know. I don't <laughs> no. know how correct that is. <laughs> <laughs> Mega waffles. Thank you for the eight months. I'm enabling Monty with the pastry discussion. I don't like walnuts in brownies. Who does like walnuts in brownies? That's a weird nut to put in a brownie. Let's delete it. We gotta get uh, to the game, so I'm keeping my mouth shut. Gavin's profit. Thank you for the five bits. Connor was not gonna lie with all the jokes about eating dice. You guys should look into seeing if you can have diehard dice make sugar or gummy dice. Someone has Mark's luck one night. They just eat the dice, causing them trouble. That's it. <laughs> that's that's the, the, I the love the idea of not that. telling the rest of the table. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> we'll talk to diehard dice about about releasing them, and we'll just they just not telling them, and uh, they'll just look like normal dice. Yeah, I rolled another one. <laughs> Connor, like, you have you have three minutes, so. Hang on. You rolled a 16. Nice. You don't have to eat it. Uh, that, that scared the shit out of me. I thought that was my Discord going off. Yeah. Uh, Umbertastic, thank you for the 39 months. Uh, I'm going to blitz through the rest of these. I'm very sorry. Uh, Roar Hockey Dude, thank you for the 100 bits. Shidon 101, thank you for the 2 bits. Uh, Callum Draws, thank you for the 45 bits. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. King Kiwi, thank you for the 32 months. Cup of Squid, thank you for the 37 months. Shadow Nidhog, thank you for the 17 months. Morth Randor, thank you for the 100 bits. Ox Factor, thank you for the 35 months. Null and Void, thank you for the 100 bits. King Night Owl, thank you for the 100 bits. Prim Pete, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Oh, oh wow. wow. Thank you, Prim Pete. Oh, Fury the Gold Dragon, thank you for the 101 bits. Astral Godling Duska, thank you for the seven months. The Real Grey Beast, thank you for the 17 months. IDC Witch, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to the past 87. Killer GNC, thank you for the 10 bits. Zenlita, thank you for the 100 bits. 20 BMG, thank you for the 500 bits. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. Proto Saber, thank you for the 32 months. The Real Grey Beast, thank you for the... Wait, no, I already read that one. Uh... Duh, 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 duh. Yes, the rest of them are repeats. I don't know why it's doing this again, but we're all caught up. Okay. Uh, before we start, I just want to say, because it's the time of the year, if you are a student... I'm looking at you, chat. If you are a student, I know right now is kind of around the time for finals. <laughs> for the winter semester for college and university, I think some high schools. If you are watching this instead of studying, please study. It is more important. We're always gonna be here. Our VODs are free. Our YouTube uploads are free. There's no time constraint. So I'm just gonna say this right now. If you are a student, please study. Please, this, the show can wait. It's your education. It's way more important. Please. All right, that's all I have to say. Study, you dorks. With that, uh, everybody in call here, are you guys ready to jump into the Unexpectables? Let's fucking go! Wait, we're doing Unexpectables? I wasn't expecting that. I might. Someone please hit the intro.
So, when last we left our heroes, Gaius, the satyr fighter, Kai, the human wizard, Milo, the Azamar cleric, Iskan, the lizard folk druid, Otho, the shifter rogue, and a new found friend in Stragal, the Kenku wizard, the party has been traveling with Prince Rerjar Ragnus to a remote oasis seeking the Esovito, a required component for a medicine the party has sought in the far eastern stretches of Delvaria, after fighting off a monkey who turned out to be an elderly knoll in disguise. The party now finds themselves cooling the boughs of the oasis's canopy, flower in hand and curiosity abound. Now, as the party nurses their monkey wounds and finds themselves in strange company, we return to the Unexpectables. Not my monkey wounds. Monkey! Raise your hand if you sustained no monkey damage. So, uh, we're all just, like, gathered around the oasis right now. Yeah, uh, Shusa seems to be just kind of, like, pushing some errant leaves off of a rock and sits down, very old woman style, like, very tactical and slow, eventually sitting <clears throat> down. She has, like, a tiny little tail, like, like a little chihuahua tail, um, slightly, uh, with some sparse, wiry hairs. Over a painstakingly long amount of time, Iskan will slowly shuffle his way closer and closer to her before finally just kind of going, <clears throat> uh, so uh, you said your name was uh, Shusa? Shusa, yes, that's my name. You're uh, a druid, right? Uh, in the tongue of those from civilization, yes, Druid, I suppose I am. Um, so this is kind of weird, but, um, he's kind of like rubbing his arm and avoiding eye contact, but sort of glancing at her out of the side of his one eye. I, I think I'm a Druid too. I don't actually know, um, what that means. She waves her hand at you. Think this, think that. No, no, no. You do not think you are a druid. Thinking is the way of the civilized world. By instinct you are. And you are. What does that mean, exactly? Meaning is the way of civilized folk. There is no meaning, there only is. Uh, well, actually, uh, sorry, don't mean to interrupt. Uh, but uh, he was actually able to learn a, skull, uh, a spell called Prestidigitation. He, he's been trying to study magic with me. He, he's actually really proficient at it. Studying magic as a druid will only get you so far. That which technique only works for those of wizards in their towers of stone. Side effects of civilization. Uh... Useful it may be, but the truth is that druids do not use usefulness to become more, as it were. What do we use it for? What we are is an extension. What we are is instinct in all things. That is what makes a dru druid what they are. Lessons do not work. Experience, instinct. So is that how you turn into that giant gorilla? Part of it, I suppose, yes. When I was young, I spent much time with animals, and very soon, they spent much time with me as an animal, very quickly. He no starts to kind of... Oh, go ahead. No, no go ahead, go ahead. Uh, he kind of thinks back to <clears throat> just since he started traveling with everybody, first the Axe Beaks, and then now the War Boars, and how kind of just naturally he's been sort of drawn to interacting with them and thinking about them a little bit more than he might have beforehand. And it, it as her words kind of land, his expression seems to shift a little bit uh, to one of uh, less nerves and more kind of understanding. Is no, that... No, go sorry. on, go on. No, fine, it's fine. You're talking to I, me. I just have so many questions. I'm sorry. Um... Is is that something that every druid can do? Not every single one. I haven't met that many. Only those of the green thorns. 
And our enemies do not do what we do. I have heard of some in Delvaria, staying at oases as well, and far off in deep woods where the trees are larger than the biggest creatures that exist upon the earth. There are ways, I suppose, to learn, but remember, learning is the way of civilized folk. You must be curious your place in the world as a druid. You certainly do not strike me as one who sits and meditates in far-off oases away from the civilized world, given your current company. Not that it's a negative thing. We are pack animals, after all. <laughs> well, I mean, I did sort of turn into a crocodile once. But... And you are becoming more in tune with your instincts, then. You saw what you knew, and you used it to your benefit in a way that is not selfish nor greedy, but for survival. So, what about the glowing thing? She slowly stands up, and you hear every single bone in her body. Oh, just God. like, no, oh. no! And she stands up, and <laughs> crack and pop as she stands to her full height. She's hunched over like crazy, too. Uh, and she kind of walks around you, trots around you, and kind of sniffs you in places, which is kind of like, uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hmm. That's curious. I've heard stories, you see, in my old ancient life that doesn't seem to end. But hmm. I know what it is you are, but you will know it better than me. All I have are ancient stories and old memories rattling around inside of this old thing. Perhaps I could help you, but only if you wish it. I mean, any help you could give would be great. There's an old story I remember as a young pup. Yidia, Ilune, and Orin were once friends, or are still. Hard for us to say what the machinations of the gods are. Yidia is a rather hands off god in many ways, but very hands on as well as many gods are wont to be. There's an old story, a children's fairy tale about the birds and animals that Yidia made and how quickly they became lost. Yidia had no mastery over the land beyond her forests and beyond the animals that which were laid there. The land was that of Avin, the god of the mountains, and Uspa, the god of the weather. There are things like that. They were silent gods in a way, more interested in the means of the human folk and the mortals upon the land and less of the animals. Uspa only really truly cared for the fish and that which deep beneath her salt watery expanse could exist, I suppose. Yidia cried out for someone to help, and it was Ilune who answered. How did she help? Yidia, my friend, she said, I see your tears and your most beautiful of creatures, and I see them lost, as many as my own followers have become, and yet sought my light to find where to go. I beseech you to use this for your great creatures and view upon them my blessing, and they will know which way to go. And from there, and you feel a pressure as, as Shusa puts a finger to your chest, is how migration was born. Traveling druids, we call them, migratory druids. Those that act as expansions of that, ba that bond between the two gods. In exchange, stories say, Yidia gave Ilune and her brother, Orin, forms of which to encompass their domains physical presentations of which that they would hold to high regard, like a gift that was given. It is why it is said that Orin and Ilune in truth are more of beasts than simple forces that be. They were granted a gift from the god of nature to look as like her most noble of creatures. But it's Milo. just a story. I don't know if it's true or not. Miles okay, just okay, doing Miles just doing a thousand yard stare at this realization. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's a lion. 
<laughs> just says that out loud. <laughs> so are you saying that these migratory <clears throat> druids are like guides? They are. You've been inside of civilization. Your face kind of scrunches. <laughs> Those are druids, not just ones of the migratory path, but those of gentle persuasion and other such evolutions, so to speak. They find their ways into civilization to act as emissary to Yidia, to tie the bonds between civilization and nature, as both should exist in truth, but one cannot consume the other. So, like a mediator? Yes, a mediator. A representative, a guide in some cases. I have not met a migratory druid as your type, one that channels the stars, the gift that was given by Ilene to Yidia, to her birds and to her beasts that seek greater paths to procreate and exist beyond that which their life could have been stuffed out many years ago. But seeing you here, perhaps there's some truth to it. So... With all of that, is, uh, am I meant to do something? Is there something I'm supposed to be doing? Meaning is the way of civilized folk. You are instinct. Ah. Stop thinking. Live. Living is the way of Yidia. I, I guess I'll try. He kind of like looks back at the group with like, Can somebody help me, please. <laughs> uh, Kai is gonna walk forward, uh, and he's going to pull out that druid book that they had found a million years ago. I think it was back in Acorn, uh, mm -hmm. and he is going to show it to the druid. To she, she takes it her hand, and it's like that shaky hand. Like she's got like. <laughs> Oh no! Like all the arthritis that is ever <laughs> no. existed. Oh, all you, right, so Kai, oh, Kai no. is going to hold it for them. I, I was about to say, if you let go of this book and she's holding on to it, her arms yeah, are pulling off, dude. <laughs> exactly. I don't need them to to shatter every bone in her arm when I let go of this book. So Kai will hold on to it, and he will just start flipping the pages, and he will look through some of the spells that are mentioned in there, and some of the the history and the lore. Whoever Can wrote you... this book was much intelligent. That much is so true. Druidic stories are held down by mouth or ancient runes left in ancient places that soon get consumed by darkness or worse or reclaimed as way is meant to be. I, I do not un understand the words written by civilization, but the markings of druidic magic is well researched. So is this written by someone like you or is this someone who has simply studied the things that you do? This is not written by a druid. Druids very rarely write things inside of dead trees. Only living ones. What about on stones? Stones are common, yes. Still a living thing, though it might not seem that way. So do you have anything like this that you could show Iskan? There's nothing here. Uh, okay, uh, what about if we did this? So we know that you can turn into a giant primate, and we know that Iskon has already turned into a crocodile? Was it a crocodile? It was a crocodile. I think it was a crocodile. Yeah. yeah. Is there any way that you can show him how to instinctually do that, like, at will? Perhaps I could be of some assistance in that regard. Uh, how Slow do you mean, Ortho? Well, I see people around me changing into animals. I've seen you do it. I've seen... Our new druid friend here, do it as well. It's <laughs> teach this, learn that. Ugh. Just be instinct, react, and be. Oh, okay. You remember when Razor was making us do all the stupid trials, and he like sent you to the zoo? Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, Kai's yes, gonna, I, I, Kai's I, gonna ignore him. I, I remember the yes! very important lessons that we were given. Yes. Right. Okay. So probably couldn't have been set up to do it worse, but 
think about one of the creatures that you saw while doing that and just try to visualize being it, if that makes yes. any sense. Because if what Say, this... a tiger, for example. Oh, boy. I wouldn't know was anything Was there a tiger shifting. there? I'm I wouldn't trying know to remember what was turning there. into a tiger. No tigers. They did have a lion. Um, I know, they had a lot I know of there was a snake. Snake. Yeah. Lots of snakes. Lots of snakes. Lots of snakes. Giant lizards. Um, they mostly kept you with like the reptile area, probably because you're a lizard folk yourself. So racist. Well, East God, um, not to bombard you with information, but perhaps what uh, is attempting to be illuminated for you is it is not a matter of uh, trying to understand a complex form like myself or Kai, but instead it is a matter of being. It is a matter of feeling. When you changed, when you turned, I rather doubt you were trying to find out the most optimal way to turn into a creature that could save Kai. You simply became it. You felt it. I know when you will let go of your inhibitions, you can be quite creative. And perhaps, perhaps that is the lesson that is uh, needed for you. I do remember really kind of getting a little frustrated uh, and really wanting to clamp down on Rare Jar. And then okay. next thing I knew, I was a crocodile. So, yeah, maybe. Okay, good. So maybe see how you're feeling right now and maybe associate that with an animal and see if you put one and one together. I, I mean, I just feel like me right now. There's no need for you to change. <clears throat> There's no need for your nature to change. That seems to have a sort of logic to it. Uh, perhaps... I got I... it! You should fly! Be a bird! Again, uh... it, there's no need for it, so I rather doubt that such a thing will be easily commandable, at least for you yet. Well, what if Rashadar picks him up and throws him up really high in the sky? Uh, hold on. I, I'm not sure that's <laughs> the best idea right now. Yeah, because if he doesn't change, he's going to have to eventually come back down the hard way. Well, are you stating that can, that the constraint here is that he needs to feel an emotion to bring out the animal form? Well, what, I'm case... what I'm saying is, that, yeah, that is part of it, but perhaps it is something that he needs to feel is necessary. It, not think is necessary, not desire or try to complicate or control, but just to become. An actual need. Yes. It is like walking, in a way. You don't really learn how to walk. It just comes to you naturally over time. Guidance helps, that is true. But for this sort of thing, well, very soon it will become second nature. Iskan, I noticed when you and I were perhaps far too inebriated for our own good back at the capital, I, the same amount of um, reservations, pensiveness, uh, maybe anxiety that normally keeps you reserved and measured was gone. You allowed yourself to freely act and feel and speak as though that uh, barrier was gone. I do not know why it is there, but for many it is a defense mechanism, and unfortunately for you, that might be partly what keeps you from... Uh, mastering your abilities at will, at least at present. So, in other words, I'm too civilized. No, no, no. You're not too civilized. You just have to approach it in an uncivilized manner. Exactly. <clears throat> Being just feral is the most liberating space a living creature can occupy, truly right you know well I, I guess until I have it I'll have to take your word for it but you gave me a lot to think about I'd not think about I guess feel about so yes, thank good. you you're welcome hopefully it will come to some use Gods know in Yidia guiding, I have no one else to teach here anymore. Come to think of it, why are you here alone? My pack decided they wanted to be like prey and led themselves to the slaughter. 
I assured them that prey does not openly seek out their death, but they were not to hear any of it. Our relationship with the other gnolls of these lands is a intriguing one, to say the least. Are you all right to keep being here alone? Yes, it is where I'm meant to be. Besides, with the nymph gone, someone must take care of this grove. And I'm old. This place is comfortable for me, I suppose. I have everything I could need. Fruit, company, and she kind of points. You see some monkeys kind of immediately dart off into the foliage. Those damn baboons! And I have a <laughs> hole that I sleep in. I bury myself in it at night to sleep in. Well, that sounds fun. Mm. I'll outlive all of you. She kind of looks towards all of you. <laughs> Slow you turn. You know it too. You actually already have. <laughs> Gaius gives her the fucking dream work <laughs> stare, just like, oh, really? <laughs> and you, I did not realize I was in the presence of Prince Regera Ragnus. Regera just kind of cross armed gives her a bit of a nod. Heard you got married recently. Congratulations. Marriage. <laughs> And she kind of spits over a side a little bit. Mm. You have any other things of me? I will have it now. If not, you should take your leave before that flower wilts and whatever purpose you need it for is done. Oh, right. I actually almost forgot. Um, thank you again for not killing us. Thank you and... for not killing me. Yeah. And like her, the way that she says that makes Iskan kind of sad for a moment, but then he <laughs> will uh, let that pass and kind of turn back towards everybody else. So, uh, any other questions before we go? No, I think I'm set. I, I am thankful we have accomplished what we were set out to do, and uh, we appreciate the advice and the hospitality. Mm hmm. She nods. <clears throat> Anybody else? Though you have no need for anything of the civilized world, is there not a trinket you would like to use as a luxury? Maybe as a parting gift? Luxury? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Uh, well, actually, there is something you have on your person that I would not mind having. Oh. I can smell snake blood on all of you. Uh, oh, the this, this snake oil. Do you happen to have the skin by any chance? Look to Reshra. I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> he grabs it. He's like rolled it up. It's like a brick of skin. Ugh. And he tosses it towards you, Gaius. <clears throat> yep, Gaius catches in like like hands it like hands the roll to her like sideways this is very nice thank you this will do visit me again hospitality and visitations are the way of civilized folk but one must indulge every now and again i suppose of course ma'am This, this is when Iska needs to put a big old X exactly where we are. Oh, it's already on the map. <laughs> Here there be druid. <laughs> I, get, I, get, I guess guys will just, just open up. I'm sorry, ma'am. It's just that I see a little bit of my grandmother in you and in this location. She aids my sister in druidic ways. So I guess a little bit of home is here in some way to me. It makes sense. Some say that druids were born within the Feywild in ancient stories. That <laughs> Nidia guided the elves from the bows of their masters and saw them freedoms in the wood below. It is sort of a... In the civilized world, there's a, there's a chicken and an egg sort of thing. Ah, uh, yes, the chicken before the egg. Some wonder if the Feywild was before Yidia or Yidia was before the Feywild. <clears throat> I don't 
don't believe grandmother told me any stories like that, nor my mother. Well, perhaps you should ask them. Haha, <laughs> when I find them again, surely. She just, like, wants... gives her a little nod and just, like, steps away so she can, like, have her prize. She takes the skin and she, like, throws it over her shoulder with, like, a meaty wet towel flap. Like, That's <laughs> gross. <laughs> and she begins to walk. She kind of turns to you all and goes, Good luck on your ventures and help your friend. You are a pack. A pack must rely on each other. And Rajra Ragnus, good luck with your children. And she kind of walks away slowly. Oh. Like, uh, nice. Mm. Very nice. Oh, oh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what children? Well, that was invigorating. <laughs> yeah, that's... We have, what, we have what we need. Let's leave this place. Agreed. You heard the prince? Is he super salty? <laughs> he seems a little upset, yeah. Oh, she didn't he's, know. He's, he's, she literally had no idea. Bro, he's molding. Haha, <laughs> 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 your wife can't have children. Ha ha. Oh, now now it's ruined. Damn. <laughs> you know, it, not that it's any of our business, but adoption is always a, a, an option. I, I was adopted. Rajor kind of stops in his tracks as you're walking through the foliage and then slowly turns to you as his shadow kind of envelops you, Stragal. I don't think this is our conversation to have. I yeah, no, no. He raises a hand. Aya says I should talk about my feelings, I suppose. He kind of thinks for a moment. He turns to his skull. That is not a decision nor a topic that is meant for me to bring it up. If it comes up, Aya must be the one who comes to the conclusion, not me. Very well. I would just hope uh, that your heart would be open to the idea if it does come up. I yes. love my, my father is... dearly. I love my father dearly too, and I was adopted by him. Hmm. And something else we have in common. I suppose so. But as I said, I do not want to bring it up with Aya. I do not want her to feel lesser from me, of all people. Of course. And this is assuming Aya even wants children. I, I hope you should... He kind of turns and <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> A wound in him. <laughs> well, you two clearly have something truly rare and special, and I have no doubt in my mind that it will be long lasting. It is my hope. It's my hope. Stragal will give a, a an errant hand on kind of it rears ours, I guess elbow is as much taller than Stragall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. like pull slab. out a soapbox to step yeah. on to pat him on the shoulder. <laughs> now you know how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> you do barely come up to my boot, Milo. He he smiles back a knowing smile. I have to watch my step lest I crush you underfoot. The smile widens. <laughs> I would, I would ah, be careful. I see. He is We've known to explode under pressure. We've learned something that Milo likes. He's a very big fan of steppies. I, mm, <sighs> mm, mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <laughs> shoot, Fox! <laughs> <Dip. laughs> do you, do you oh, always just word. have like, a, a cup that is almost out of liquid just on you? <laughs> no, I, I ran out of orange juice after we did the introductions, and I've been sitting on empty that, the whole time. That is not at all what I meant, you people I, who did pay attention to the last couple sessions. I oh, no, I knew what you meant, but character. I also know what I did. Uh, I responded fired. in character. It's okay, Milo. Guys, it's okay, it's okay. Man. I... You have my wife's flower, yes? Oh, I'll do it. It's right here. Kept preserved for the next 10 days. Good. Let's mount up, make our way back. 
We make camp on our way back. And you. He looks towards you, Otho. Yes. Stab me. Not now. <laughs> he pulls his hand away from his belt. <laughs> <laughs> Gently misthought to the tell me, Stab me when I am asleep and I do not notice you tonight. I will try. Good. You watch as he turns and he gives a sharp whistle and you can see that the, the boar kind of wandered off a little bit, but they immediately come trudging forward and stop immediately in front of all of you. So I'm thinking of a pulley system. I drop a rope and then... <laughs> <laughs> if I hang myself from twine strung between two of the boars... It, it's fucking... It's mousetrap, but with stabbing a dude. <laughs> It's that scene from Mission <laughs> Impossible <laughs> where he's got Kai <laughs> lowering him down on a rope. It's it's Ty, how many dominoes flip. do we have? <laughs> it's, the, it's, just it's, a, it's a knife j gently tumbling down a Rube Goldberg machine. I imagine the guy who gets the, the freaking seesawed into the bucket is this just him with a knife going in his restaurant. God. All right. Oh. The boars kind of come up to you and begin to snort. You guys mount up? Absolutely. Yep. I'm yep. assuming same organization as on your way here. Yeah. yeah. And I will give Lord Fauntleroy some good side pats before. Ah, uh, that's the name. Lord Fauntleroy, yeah. What was mine? Oh, right. Uh, Captain Pigard. Yes, Captain Pigard. <laughs> Why I have to give this thing a name? Oh. They're not yours. They're actually you're being. That's what I made. Mean. I'm just like they're yeah. not mine. They don't. I I can't give them a name. Is, they don't I've really already given mine a twelve page backstory. <laughs> uh, we're, we're gonna. Oh Jesus. Ours is Viper One. For our this is just plan. an above game sure. name, so we can yeah. keep track of the boars in case something happens. <laughs> yeah, Viper One, Viper Two, Viper Three, <clears throat> Fallen. Uh, as you guys begin to mount up, uh, Rarejure actually kind of pets uh, Ragnarok, his boar. And he kind of looks towards all of you and goes, Ao overfeeds him constantly, all the time. I'm kinda... sure he does not mind. You want to know something funny? Since Absolutely. we're bonding on this boys trip. <laughs> <laughs> boys, boys night. Boys night. Boys night. Boys night. Boys night. He kind of kicks and the, the pigs begin to like, they don't really go full kilt, but they tend to go to like, kind of like a little bit of a trot, just kind of making their way up, you know, back home. Aya would have nothing to do with me on the first few weeks of travel, but she loved Reg Rock more than anything. She would feed him everything that she could find. And she would kiss him on the snout and I just felt so jealous. Redmond oh, made right fun here. of me. You can kiss him on the snout yourself. <laughs> oh. Got him. He said, he said it at night, not now. <laughs> <laughs> is this humor? Yeah. Yes, indeed it is. Uh, on the tenth of such. a little smile. <laughs> ha. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, that, that, that is the scariest you have been since we met you. Let's ride. He kicks the boar in the takeoff. <laughs> it's like the Terminator trying to smile. Oh, my God. It's exactly like <laughs> his that. His protocols does not allow for it. <laughs> Just baring his teeth. <laughs> you literally hear bones crack as he tries to make a grin. It takes how many muscles to smile? All of the only them. muscles he's never worked out. <sighs> As you guys eventually, once again, circle the wagons, the boar, I guess, the boar wagons, uh, and find yourselves back in the middle of the open, barren wasteland. I imagine a fire is prepared. You guys gather up some wood from the oasis prior. Easy enough to Do I have to fight another fucking Titano boa? No, you don't see any. Um, <laughs> what will we eat? Uh, do you help Rajar look for food? Because he's currently scouting sure, out. Sure, fuck it. Own. Why not? Fuck yeah. Uh, okay. Let's all help. Gaius and uh, Escan, 
survival mm -hmm. checks. If everybody wants, if everyone wants to join in for for finding a meal for tonight, everyone roll survival checks if you want to. And if those want to abstain <gasps> and work on camp, you can stay and work on Natural camp. twenty for a total of twenty six. Oh my god! Let's go. go. I'm nope. the most survived. I was gonna set the kitchen <laughs> camp up. Okay. Okay. They're, They're gonna say I'm gonna set the kitchen on fire. There's, there's, I have no survival Which is skills, legit apparently. if it's a campfire. Stragal will help out Milo at camp. Okay. Uh, I like to imagine Gaius, like you are, like Rarishar is kind of looking around and you're doing like the um, Miles Morales, like, you know, Spider-Man hand on chin sort of thing a little yeah. bit with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Otho, you kind of keep an eye out, but Iskan, as you're kind of scanning the horizon and looking for traces of stuff, you notice that there's like little lines in like the sand and the dirt, like that seem to all go in a direction, like a trail, as if like someone had dragged like a tiny piece of string through the dirt and it's made just a natural path somewhere. It's tiny, 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 itty bitty. Uh, rare jar. Mm -hmm. I think I found something. Let's see it. And he'll call him over and point him to the tracks. These all kind of seem to lead off in the same direction. Huh. Makes sense. We're only a few days away from an oasis. Davarian honey ants. Honey ants? Hmm. They're a favorite of mine when I was a child. Good protein. Some of them are sweet. You should gather them for Milo. Be curious to see how he'll cook with them. Yay! Okay. Follow me. You watch, see, he kind of just follows the trail, and eventually you see there's just more. There's more trails. Until eventually you begin to see what look like almost like white-ish translucent ants. Kind of like glass and iridescent. They're very interesting as you look at them. They're, they're the same size as a regular ant, but their legs are like twice as long than the average ant. Oh, they're stilt daddy. ants. Oh, dude, daddy long leg syndrome. He kind of points down at them and looks towards you, Iskan, and goes, These ants have longer legs because the earth is hotter during the day, and they hunt for things that die in the heat. Oh, so it keeps all their important parts further off the surface. Precisely. That's why when we ride our boar, we're high up the ground. The ground can be just as hot as the sky above. We should find a mound here if we just keep following them. And sure enough, you do see the sort of, like, a long, like bulbous, like almost like a um, the shape of like a light bulb, but upside down, and just coming from the earth. This massive bulb extends out of the earth, and Rajar turns towards you all, and he's just like, "Gaius, you have a weapon on you? Something flat, like a hammer or something of the like?" That's a good question, Mega Man. Hold on. <laughs> oh, his entire his entire, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I think I have nothing but blades with me right now. Hold on. Drops twelve treasure chests onto the ground. <laughs> Where did you get a uh, toolbox? Internet. The only thing Gaius, the only thing Gaius has that is bludgeoning, he knocks on his horns. <laughs> Rarishar looks at you, looks at the giant, they see like a, it's like a termite pyre. And he looks towards the ant pyre and he goes, go for it. <laughs> oh, here we go. He's I'm the guy who has jump, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, you ram this thing? <clears throat> sure, fuck it, why not? Give me a ram roll just for flavor. Okay. You kind of drive yourself immediately in the center most point. And kind of like stubble backwards. And Rajar actually points out, go for a lower point. That's where they keep their larva. That's what we're going to eat. And you kind of reconstitute yourself and you do another ram. This thing is hard. It's like a rock almost, even though it looks like it's just made out of mud and dirt. Like a termite uh, but... mound? Wait, yeah, like a termite a mound. Yeah. What the mm. fuck am I doing? Giant's might. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't oh bulldoze it. <laughs> really? No, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just tower over it and just headbutt it. <laughs> well, now the ants are ant paste. Yeah. As you giant spite and you do the same thing, it, this is still hard, but you do manage to chip away, and Rezor actually raises a hand to make you stop from destroying the whole thing. And as he, like, kind of pushes you aside, he grabs a piece of, like, the sort of, like, clay rock, and he kind of gestures for you to join him. He's like, Otho, you scan, come here and help us. Um, uh, yeah. Grab a side. If you feel something crawling on your skin, just ignore it. <laughs> he jogs over. <laughs> no, he he, he, don't looks, bite, he looks do at they? it and he, he just sort of like cringes. Just... <laughs> they don't sure. bite, do they? They bite. 
I'm gonna just ignore it. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would like everyone to roll me yeah. a strength check, please. Strength check. I oh, have a strong boy. feeling I'm not helping in this situation, Monty, but here goes. So uh, sorry, athletics. Athletics. Apologies. Athletics, athletics check. check. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, it's gonna be the same either way. It's a three. A nice. Seventeen. Nice. Soft twenty. He stands here for moral support. <laughs> He's like, go team. <laughs> Even with Veritor do... there, the three of you like also have to really help him as you just basically pull off a giant plate-sized chunk of this mound. And inside, you just see it's horrible to look out. Sorry, people who hate insects. But you see as all the ants like try and attack you. And some of them bite you, and it does sting a little bit. But it's not enough, like not like a bee sting. However, the inside is filled with just wriggling white larva. Uh, as well as these other ants that seem to have like an orange, like round back end that seems to be full of some kind of nectar of some kind. Oh, yeah, fat butt ants. Let's Slimy go. yet satisfying. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Kind of, yep. Roger kind of takes it and then shakes some of the like the adult ants off and kind of like scuffs it off, <laughs> and then he hands it to you, Gaius, to carry and goes. We have dinner for tonight. I got it. As they're like crawling on his arms and biting him. <laughs> It's the, just the, the thing, it's like wide-eyed, like batting at the ones that are on his arms, just like. Yeah, when we get to <laughs> camp, use the, when we get to camp, use the smoke from the fire. Like usually gets rid of them. Well, you heard him jump in the fire, Otho. <laughs> <laughs> Here I go. But these are my as, fine clothes. As you all make it back to camp, uh, Milo, you are gifted a just platter of of just <clears throat> grubs, basically. Richard kind of looks towards you and goes, cook them. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 you go ahead. I don't know. I'm just going to make a gag. It's just Gaius, like, just walks by. He's still in giant form. He, like, shrinks down in front of you, and then there's just a giant mound of wriggling fucking larva (laughs) on his arms. Hey, how you doing? Oh, now. Oh, hey, I got you. Oh, no, now I feel them. Ah, fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, get him off. Ah! (laughs) Just move over here. The smoke's blowing this way. Ah! Oh, Lord's supposed to say ah! that word. Fucking <laughs> Well, anyway, I, I got an idea for this. Um, be, Reza, gentle, you... be gentle with them. They break easily. Oh, you said they were kind of Man, sweet, right? I almost said something awful. <laughs> they are, yes. Many men like them fried on a shield on top of a fire mixed with spices and herbs or other things. I was about to say, if I had the... Wait... Okay, above game. I still have oil. I want a deep freeze. <laughs> go for it. Go for it. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead because it's kind of a weird ingredient. I'm gonna say you don't really have this in Meadowfield. You know, giant ant larva. Um, go ahead okay. for me and roll a just cooking utensils check for me, Milo. Wait, why is the attribute strength? It needs to be ugh. Mm. <laughs> Silly you have to dice. The ingredients. Twelve. <laughs> oh, okay. Bad. I was gonna, I was gonna put a ten of success, and anything below that is a kind of a failure. I mean, you you deep fry these things, and they puff up almost like corn. Yeah, um, Strakal's drooling. Oh no! Yeah. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> um, you love me, my my popcorn ant. Well, it's Damn like it, Connor, you Connor, you made me almost choke on my drink. <laughs> <laughs> Simone and Pumper I mean, are drooling. I, I've. I, it Go tastes ahead. good. The texture is like very dry. Like it's kind of like um you know like the 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 Cheetos, like the really puffy Cheetos. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. yeah. That's the that's the texture, but with like a hard outer shell, like a kernel corn, but the inside Ooh. is like a Cheeto is the best Deep way to describe it. Fried cheese puffs. Let's go. I'm Ugh, super I, fucking no. shocked. I'm shocked those aren't a thing in the boardwalk in New Jersey. That sounds fucking amazing. It's yeah. too southern for what? Jersey. It's it's people. So people are asking if it's like pork rinds. No, it's more brittle. Like it's more dusty. And as you eat them, you realize, oh, this needs a drink really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great! You deep fried some Cheetos. Well done. <clears throat> yeah. My 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 southern family would be very proud. Well, I was gonna say. I mean, I could I, I I could make water if people need it. I've got all my spell slots still. Here's, here's the bucket, my guy. 
everyone's just I knew that would come in handy. Hands in the book. <laughs> I am not, is this this is the most fucking utilized object in my arsenal. <laughs> Fuck the axes. It's the bucket. <laughs> it's the bucket. Remember we had that, that we had that long conversation about items that people don't use in D and D enough. We're adding yeah, bucket. Bucket, to the top of that bucket is on the yeah. list now. People like who the feel idea. the serve way, you're just wrong. I'm sorry. I like the <laughs> yeah, idea. What the that, hell was that? I like the idea that the bucket is just like the the camp water cooler. Yeah, basically. Everyone kind of walks up oh and has God. conversations around the bucket. It has the same <laughs> the same face as Plank from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah. It's full of ice. It's, got a few it's just fucking, it's just it. fucking Rajwar <laughs> with a clip-on tie. So how's it going? <laughs> so about that merger. Uh, crazy. As, <laughs> as Rajwar eats them, he actually looks towards Jumaila and goes, I've never had anything like this before. This is quite good. Yeah, see, I've, I've heard about people cooking bugs, but it's like, the only way I've heard of it is you either roast them or you fry them. And I thought, well, these might be kind of gooey, so if we fry them, maybe all that gooeyness will, will kind of get chopped and get cooked in and have a real unique flavor. And I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm glad. He's it's quite good. Mm. Yeah, they're not bad. You think they would keep in a satchel or a pouch, Milo? Well, anything fried's definitely called a decent shelf life. If, if you want to take some with you to bring back to, well, whoever, that, that'd, be, that'd be fine. Might be good for my men. Make the cooks make some of this before we go out on hunts. Be useful. He nods slowly. He's yeah, it's not, it's, it's not like you could get a lot of a jerked meat. Well, I, I guess you could. <laughs> but this would be faster and easier. Hmm. I will be sure to speak of this to my father when he returns. And speak of you as well. Well, um, you know, Rajadar, what would you like to call them? <laughs> what? The bugs? Uh, oh, the, 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 the... Maybe this is just a me thing, but whenever someone discovers a, a great type of food, they always name it. They name it something special, something that means something to the land that it comes from. And I wouldn't want to take that. It, it, this is your land, so the decision's mm. yours. <laughs> he narrows his eyes and looks very intently at the puffed up bug, and there's like the fucky, like, Jeff, like, the oh, just this... tense music being to play, no. and he's thinking... <laughs> The fucking who wants to be a millionaire just like you have this is the question <laughs> he then holds it aloft he holds it aloft like lion king and goes da, 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 da. bug puffs yeah. that works mm. that works simple rolls off the tongue pretty easy to remember mm. i'm taking notes <laughs> Yeah, my notes puffs now say invented. Milo invented bug <laughs> puffs. You, you, you just invented the tourism scene in the entire fucking region. <laughs> Otha will look over at Milo and, and give him a smile. Very well done, Mr. Brightbeam. He, he just, just created the Frito Lay Corporation. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we, we, we come back and Delvari is just industrialized. There's huge factories making dude, ever, dude, dude, nightmare. No, no one is ripped anymore. They've all got like beer guts now. <laughs> they invented plastic. How the hell did they invent plastic? <laughs> They've got like eight different kinds of adhesives for sealing the bag. <laughs> Hell are all dressed bug puffs. All dressed. Just a CFO. We have to we have to go to the north of Delvaria to get the ketchup flavored ones though. Oh yeah, dude. I heard I heard they put their their uh, larva mucus in bags. Oh, uh, what a sin! What a fucking sin! You all oh. go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell if that was rear shore or Montserrat. That was it. Yes. 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 <laughs> the answer is yes. Oh Shut the fuck God. up. No more role playing. Go directly to bed. Do not receive. Do not pass. Go. Go directly to bed. No long rest Do not for you. Experience. <laughs> yeah. I'm just reminded of Poplars from Futurama. Oh, oh boy. Pop a poplar in your mouth when you as, come to fishing coast. We'll have to make some guys, slurm too. As you all Bug finish nerfs. up your your ants and your various other rations and your water from your beloved bucket friend, um, your bed rolls are all rolled out. The boars are out once again grazing on the deep roots beneath the cracked earth. And as you all go to bed, assumedly. Yeah. Any objections? Cool. 
I believe Othor I mean, has something. I mean, he's I've got something to do. To do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna Kai, say. Kai, Otho. Kai and Otho are staying awake. There's shit to do. Otho, a breeze rolls its way through the camp that you're currently <laughs> on. Is Rizrar asleep? He seems to be. His chest is slowly rising and falling as he's laid out on his bedroll. Yeah, Otho is just he's he's like sitting on his bedroll thinking he's got his hand in front of his chin just scratching his beard. And Kai is awake. Yep. He just slowly looks over at his brother. Kai will kind of give you the two finger salute. No, he said I need to do this alone. Last time. Mm, something tells me that the rules carry over. Oh, come on. You of all people got to appreciate looking out for the semantics of language. I know, but... Let's put it this way. I'll give you a fair chance. He gets kind of motions for you to give it a shot. <clears throat> Just give it a go, huh? Look, I think Just... the advice that Iskon got might actually help you. You're overcomplicating things. Just stab the piece of crap. Given, given to my instincts is stabbing. Okay, the man I'm not gonna go that sleep. far. That's instinctual to me. Uh, yeah, rawr, go stab him, Tiger Boy. You're on the talk. <sighs> Otho will remove his glasses and he'll take off his. Uh, jacket, roll up his <clears throat> sleeves, and he'll pull out Law and Order. Oh no, he's hot. Dun, dun. And he'll look at Rare Girard and he'll narrow his perception. His pupils will begin to focus in on him until he's basically all that he can see. And he, his breath slows down and fur will begin to sprout from his body as he shifts. Okay. And he'll get low to the ground, holding either dagger in each hand. And he'll look at Rare Girard, and in his mind, he's picturing one of those bandits that held him for six months. And his pupils dilate. And he'll slowly begin to creep over. Roll me a stealth check, please, with advantage. Let's fucking go. Yes! Natural Absolutely, yes! Oh! Let's go. Okay. That's a nat 20, baby! For a total of 28. <laughs> so you get down low, and the wind rolls through camp. Like a breath. And you exhale, too. As the wind stops, you don't breathe. And slowly stalk forward. The wind. You breathe. Closer and closer, you creep. Your eyes. Dilating ever so slightly on your target. You breathe. He moves forward. The, the light of the moon reflects in his pupils. You find yourself over Rojo Aragnus, who, to your knowledge, has no notice of you. His head lulled to his side. That's not Rare Girard. That's Ogre Wife Glenn Grutt of Grim Bones. Oh, shit. He raises his dagger. Roll attack with advantage. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Please. Crit his ass. Uh, the modifier is wrong, but only by one. It's a 20. What? <laughs> you, have advantage. Advantage. <laughs> you have advantage. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Might as well see if you crit him. Oh, that's even better. Uh, mm. 23. 23. Because AC is 16. <laughs> you drive the dagger. I'm assuming not to like where you die instantly. You can't really coup de grace. Yeah, but you drive. Yeah, you drive. Where do you drive the blade in? Um, 
he's not going to try to kill him. He's aware enough of that. Uh, but he will stick the blade into his shoulder this time. Okay. You drive the blade into his shoulder, and immediately as you feel the blade hit the bone, Rejrar shoots up, grabs you by the throat, and slams you on the ground. And there's like a moment of tension. And he grabs the hilt he grabs your the hilt highness. of your he grabs the hilt of your blade, pulls it out, drops it to your side, and he goes, Well done. And he kind of picks you back up to your feet and shoves you away as he wipes dirt into the wound. Kai's immediately gonna run over and hug Otho. You got him! Oh, what? What's going on? Well, Otho did it! He stabbed Rishrar! Nice. Does that mean I gotta get the bandages? Hmm. No. Oh. Makes for a good scar. All right. As long as you don't bleed out. <sighs> well done, Otho. You did not hesitate. And you struck me. He just picks up his dagger and sheathes it and comes out of his were tiger form and he'll sit down on his bedroll. He doesn't look Last... proud at all. There is no honor in striking a man who is unarmed. And there is precisely. And yet, it can be the way to stop a terrible threat upon the world. An assassin's blade can save as many lives as a warlord's army. The merits of honor and that own perplexion is yours to measure with. It's not of my burden, but yours. Do with it as you will. But in my eyes, you succeeded this night. Well done. Now don't stab me again. The lesson is over. <clears throat> he kind of rolls over and kind of goes into a maybe like one of your French girl poses, his back facing you. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta air out the butt wound. Yeah. Sla the Slack King pose. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> Otho will look down at his dagger. Law, probably, is the first one that made it. He'll look at the fresh blood that's still slick and reflecting off the moonlight, and he'll wipe it in the sand and sheathe it, and he'll just steeple his hands in front of his uh, in front of his mouth, and he'll stare off into the distance and just think. Kai's gonna plop down next to you. I don't understand. that. That's what you were supposed to do. It went against every instinct of mine. I don't want these skills. I don't like how easy that was. don't want to be like them. Bro, you're nothing like them. What? Just because you can sneak around and are good with a dagger doesn't make you the same as the people that you learned that from. And you didn't even learn it all from them. They didn't teach you how to be a tiger. <laughs> no, they most certainly did not. That's you. Any skill you learn from them is still over you. It's not about what you know, it's about how you use it. He said that sometimes was... an assassin's blade is necessary. Is that what truth. I'll become? What is necessary? No. no, no. You will... Do what you always do, and that is make an educated judgment based on all of the data that you have, and you will do it with conviction like you just did. That doesn't make you a bad person, and it sure as hell doesn't make you like any of the people that I saved you from. Never.
Get some sleep. You hear Rare Shara say as he kind of rolls over and looks towards the two of you. I wish I could feel that way. I don't like what I'm becoming. Good Kai's gonna pet. Kai's gonna pat you on the shoulder and let you get some sleep. But he's not gonna pass out until he sees you pass out. You all head to sleep for the night. You scan. During the night, you hear like a noise, a far off distance. Like a strange scream of an animal. But it's not like enough to rouse you and you just kind of like, huh? Uh, and you just go back to sleep. However, as the dawn dawns, you all awake to a Delvarian morning with camp being cleaned up. Rogerar is dead from wounds. <laughs> <laughs> he has bled out. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, as you all wake up and look over, you see Rarejar currently assessing what apparently the boars fought off last night. Oh, oh shit! Oh, <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. You you see him currently like with one foot up on the tusk of Ragnarok, like pulling out an animal that has just been pinned to the spikes on his tusks. Oh, basically, I... you see what looks to be almost like like a it's hard to describe it's like a if a rhino was like had the had the physique of a horse but with the horn uh and the feet were like kind of um like elephant and like goat feet combined it's a very strange looking creature and you see oh. currently the t the spike that was on ragnarok's like tusk um has gone through like one socket out the other this thing is just trapped on top and it's just a mess like a pulped mess is it is it a single horn or a double horn? It is a single horn. Okay. It's not a very beautiful looking creature. It's quite it's quite hideous. I mean, especially in the state that it's in right now, but it's like nothing you've ever seen before. So it's a unicorn. It's like a really ugly unicorn. Wow, that's messed up. Well, what happened here? <clears throat> I'm trying to find the name of these creatures. I have them written down, I swear. <laughs> Wait, you know how to write? <laughs> no, that's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Talking. <laughs> the Monty's mythical in the gross corn. Hold on, I gotta find them real fast. Yeah, but now that begs the question: Can Reshirar read and write? He's a barbarian. He a noble. Of course he can't. I, I'd, I'd, I'd imagine he would. He better he not is, break the stereotype. He's an adopted noble. Who's just, half fire giant wow, and all barbarian. Okay. He just wow. spent all, all right. his you know, life. There's a lot, of, a lot hold of stuff on a second. about a lot of people who can't. I was gonna say there's a lot of assumptions right being sure drawn how here, I Mark. Feel about that. <laughs> Listen, if anyone can cast specs. microaggressions, it's me. So <laughs> is just like, I can't I can only read giant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to find this creature real fast. I should have this ready. I apologize. No, no you're good. I only, uh I only... <clears throat> hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope. <laughs> Nope. I got you, Monty. Kai's going to uh, tap Otho on the shoulder when they all wake up. Uh, he looks pretty rough. He, he looks like he did not sleep too much. What do you mean now? You didn't sleep, did you? I slept a little bit. <sighs> Just not my usual self, I suppose. Why did I, I am so? good to travel, though. All right. Well, if you start getting in your head, you better come talk to me. I'm fine, brother. You're not, but I'm going to let you walk away anyway. There it is. <clears throat> Found it. Sorry, I have too many books, man. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> I've seen your 700 bookshelf. books. Yeah. Uh, this <clears throat> creature, as Rotorar is like, he's kind of struggling because Ragnarok keeps moving. He's like, Ragnarok, keep still. As he's trying to get this thing off, uh, does anybody help him? I sure. would like to try and help him, yeah. I am like three foot nothing. I would be of no help. It's a Go huge creature. Go get him, like, Milo. It's, it's absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Milo, get in there, champ. Legitimately, Iskun's going to kind of approach and I'm just going to preemptively say so you can get the memes out of the way very much like 
uh, Jurassic World, kind of raising a hand out to sort of grab yeah. Ragnarok's attention. The same way that he has with the Axe Beaks and with Humphrey, and now with Lord Fauntleroy as well, he's going to kind of gently approach without breaking eye contact, but trying to be very, like, passive, like, not aggressive, but just holding his attention. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a handle animal for me, then. Good luck. Oof. Ten. Oh, okay. no. You remember something that Rajar told you, the fact that Aya feeds him way too much? Um, and you kind of rummage and give him some food, and that is, you meet the DC, it's ten. Uh, he's, he's very well trained, so you have to kind of keep his attention. But Rajor is still struggling with this very large creature, and he does still need help, it looks like, strength-wise. All right, giants might hear I go. All right, go ahead. Go ahead and make an athletics check. Here I go. Rajor 17. Rajor did not actually roll that well, but his plus is really good. Uh, Rajor actually got a 16, so you actually were stronger than him in this regard. Yes. As, Holy fuck, yes. as, as the two of you grab onto this creature, you manage to finally get its skull off of the spike. Uh, and again, it's sort of like a, it looks like a bull rhino combo with a massive singular horn on its head. A bind. Uh, and like, the toes are like goat hooves, but there's like three, like, toes to it. Um, I have concerns of this beast. <laughs> Rajor kind of kicks it aside and he goes, It's a carcaden. A what? Oh. Carcaden. They're solitary creatures and they tend to protect their territory with that massive horn, which we should probably collect. Wait, didn't we. Weren't we told about these things? Sort of. They, they were more like a, a, a centaur kind of looking thing hmm. well let's collect the horn all right go ahead and roll a survival check for me oh god no please east can't get the fuck in here <laughs> <laughs> tagging out bro I, I will give you advantage i will aid you but i am not making this roll <laughs> well if monty approves advantage i'll roll again but if not it's a 10 okay uh, it's, it's, this thing is banged up, so it's really hard to collect, but you manage to, like, crack off the tip of the horn. You don't get the whole thing. This thing is, like, 20 pounds. It's a 20-pound carcadan horn. Oh, honey. Holy crap. Yeah, Sorry, this thing is I huge. It's a massive creature. Uh, I tried my best, but I don't think I got it off cleanly. But, Monty, did you, uh, would you have allowed my aid, or... Uh, probably not, because it's a bit of an okay. involved process. Understand yeah. Understandable, understandable. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't, like, skipped over. Uh, Rajar wraps it in, like, some leathers and hands it to the rest of you, and he goes, you can keep it. I have no use for it. It might sell for a good price in your foreign cities. Oh, ho. You could sell it for a book. That might be good for shoring up the keep's treasury. Also, the things you speak of, the elephant-like centaurs, those are the Luxoda. They mostly exist around the southern parts of Delvaria. Yeah, we saw one in the distance on our way to Arcastoria. Apparently they're quite territorial. In the spring. In the other seasons they tend to be fine, but we do not encroach upon their ter territory, and so we have no quandary with them. However, during the spring they tend to be a bit more outgoing, as it were. It didn't seem to like us very much. No. They are very xenophobic, to my knowledge. Mm. All right, uh, Kamani, can you do me a favor and type out this thing's name so I can put it in the inventory we have this thing? Yes, Car sir. 20 pound carcadon horn. Yeah, also, I, I just discovered carcadons, they're actually like real Persian folklore creatures. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yep. That's crazy. Culture shock. Wow! That's my line! I'll kill you! <laughs> Yo! A a sorry, I, I did a little Google search in here. Uh -oh. And apparently people have actually, like, made them into rhino humanoids for, like, races in tabletop games. And they actually look kind of sick. They're really cool That's looking. That's pretty neato. 
I'm using the Karkadan Saplock from uh, Tomb of Beast 3 by Cobalt Press, actually. Hell yeah! Hey, there we go. Oh, shout out. Jason, you guys want to use them? I They're love their cool. products. Let's fucking go. As Rezor kind of gets the boar ready, he actually regales you. He goes, it's interesting. Sometimes if we travel with maidens, they tend to prefer them and actually aren't violent. But seeing as how we're all men, it doesn't... It does not surprise me that it attacked. Boys night. Boys night. It hated boys night that Worth much. Worth the risk. <laughs> Perhaps your magics could explain it, but they don't seem to threaten women. Don't know why. Huh. But either way, I... I treat them as a danger irregardless. I thought I heard something in the night, but I guess it must have just been this. More than likely. Ragnarok and the other boars are meant to keep a perimeter and kill anything that tries to get close. And they're very, very good at it. And he kind of pets up Ragnarok's Aww. front snout, and you see the little tail. Swishy, 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 swishy. Aww. I'm amazed. Aww. I'm amazed the entire exchange didn't wake any of us up. Well, they're like I said, swift. I heard it, but it didn't go on for very long. Mm. So I mm. just rolled over. It seems like the scuffle started in the distance based off of the trail of blood, too. So they probably saw it and charged after it. Hmm. Oh, oh, fuck. I just watched my weight limit skyrocket. I could probably carry that for you if you're uh, a little on the... No, I, dude, I actually did my calculations. I still got a ways to go before I'm encumbered. Very well. I should learn how to sleep with one eye open like they do. Sleep with one eye open. Be more like your that? creatures, like Shusa said. What? That's what I at least inferred from her device. Be more like the creatures that you wish to emulate, right? Wasn't that the takeaway? Uh, well, yeah, I guess it was. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about it like that, but you're right. And, you and that's how I interpreted it. I'm again. not. Sorry, Sorry guys. That? I didn't catch Sorry, guys. That. I spoke over you. Go ahead and speak. No, no, no. I was just making a joke. I was just like, can you turn into that? You like points over to the car, Uh I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe if I saw one alive. God, I hope you don't. <laughs> I believe the druids are known to despise them as they are responsible for killing all the elephants that once existed in, uh, into these lands. Aw. Are they not natural? I don't believe they are, no. Turns to Kai. Do you Still hear cold. anything about these? Could they maybe be some sort of, like, mage-created beast like the other ones we saw? I don't know, God. Could they? Arcana check? Um, I've heard of it. Mm. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm familiar. familiar. <laughs> I'm familiar. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> 14. I mean, there are creatures like griffins and, and you know, I'm owlbears. Sorry, griff, what? Griffins oh, and okay. owlbears and things like that. They could be like that, or they could be from, you know, the Mage War. You have no idea. It's it's kind of, who knows? Kind of hard to say. And if it's from one of those Mage War things, it's probably something I haven't read about yet. Old stories of Davaria's conquest spoke that the fire giants used them as pets and unleashed them upon the world as punishment to the small folk, but those are just stories. Huh. And considering they're not too fond of me, I don't think that it's true. I guess that would make sense. Anyway, mount up. If we make good pace, we should be able to make it home before nightfall. Let's go. Let's go. As you all mount up and take off, the weather today is windy. It's gusty, and there's a bit of dust, but it's not like the same sort of dust storm you had where your vision was impaired. It's just like there's ever so often a kick up of dust that can get into your eyes. However, any, any, any clouds, Monty? No. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> no clouds. The lake at Arcastoria is doing nothing for this area. Nope. It's not carrying However, its weight at all. However, as you make your way, the travel is very uneventful. You once again begin to see the reeds and the grain uh, 
fields of grain around the lake itself as the farmland of Arcastoria and Arcastoria Lake also comes about the horizon. And as you all turn your boars into, in through the gates of town, making your way through people parting in the streets, eventually... Roll initiative. <laughs> roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> eventually you turn a corner and see the stronghold with your kill, the sandworm head hanging above its door. And as you all dismount, finally making your way back home, that is where we're going to take our break. Hey, yeah, I, wanted, break time. I, want, we, I want there to be a that. meme of Gaius doing the like guy pointing at a sandstorm, but it's the fucking head hanging off the wall. Oh, <laughs> oh! soy Jack Gaius. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Zen said on it. On it. <laughs> of course, oh, of off. course they fucking are. <laughs> Welcome to the Half Toad Time Show, everybody. What's going on? The Half Toad. Half Toad. The Half Toad Half Time Show, exactly. Speech mistake. Get him. Yep. <laughs> Cancel well, I him. For, I do it for a living. Whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> I got to make a living. Damn. All right. Well, I guess I'll just be out here chilling. What's up, y'all? Let's see. I got 20 bits from Mekon Pachi. So just a thought. If Milo could cast Giant's Might, would he be six feet tall? Yeah, he might be a normal boy then. Killer Chansey, they give it the 10 bits. I prefer the Dry Bones halftime show. I don't know how I feel about that. It's very brittle. Thank you, all of you, for tuning in and joining us on this wonderful Wednesday night. As always, you could choose anywhere and anything to do on Wednesday nights, but you're here with us, so we appreciate it. Small to give her the thousand bits. I'm surprised there isn't some Looney Tuned level schematic Otho drafted up when night. So last session is what you're looking for. He absolutely tried to do some Looney Tunes shit. Uh, Callum draws with the five bits. Milo made bug popcorn. He sure, he sure did. I personally prefer the legally distinct Mark halftime show. Good thing I didn't ask. Bubba Bob, thank you so much for the 300 bits. I realized that last week I made it sound like my character died in the final session. He's still walking around. He just has the reborn lineage now. Ah, gotcha. Well, well congratulations. congratulations on not doing the dead. Phil Lane, thank you for the 95 bits. Been a sad day. A lifelong friend. Lost his mom, so thank you all for cheering me up tonight. Love you. Well, thank you for being here. I hope we can give you a little bit of a reprieve. I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, Ace Bounty, thank you for the Tier 1 sub. Hey, Gaijin, I know this may be not your cup of tea, but will you be playing the new Dragon Quest monster game that came out? I've been enjoying it. We'll see if Gaijin heard that. Otherwise, I'll have to ask him when he gets back. Killer Chansey, thank you for the 10 bits. Today's episode of The Unexpectables is brought to you by Bug Puffs. Creepy, crawly, crunchy. Bug Puffs. What about half time? Well, that would be if I took the bottle of time that I have and dumped half of it out. Magic Ninja, thank you for the 100 bits. Zito, how much did you scream at Lethal Company? I don't know. I don't think he's here. It's just us. It's just us. Wow. I'm all alone. <laughs> There's no one here beside me. I guess it's time for a poetry reading, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> a Halo po poetry reading brought to you by the Unexpectables. I'll do it, man. I'll break out some more Robert Frost. I don't care. Uh, let's see. Oh, nope. They're scrolling too fast. We've got Gengar. They give the five bits. What is the best D&D &D tabletop snack? That's going to come down to personal preference, my dude. I have seen a large variety of snacks. For me, nothing greasy, nothing too crummy, and nothing too dehydrating. Whatever what you... falls in that purview, perfect. What I'm a water about? guy. Uh, like D&D snacks. Snacks at the D&D yeah. table. I don't oh, God, pop tarts. I don't because I can't, but I, I drink a lot of water. I drink way yep. too much water. I require I a preposterous amount of snacks, or I get real <laughs> angry. <laughs> so yeah. I eat constantly. Uh, the word is hangy. Get it right? Hey, oh, fuck up. Real, real quick, I'm, I'm back. Yep. I'm just gonna be crunching, so I'm muted. Okay, there was a there was a question for you. Uh, let me scroll up real quick. For whom? Uh, do you plan on playing the new Dragon Quest Monster game, Gaijin? 
Probably not. I've never been that big in a Dragon Quest. All right, Wait, well, there you go. There's a new Dragon Quest monster, so let me oh. in there. Oh, there you go. Uh, Swigirl, thank you for the, Zeebo, the bits. Right? This is the first time in a long time that I've been able to watch live thanks to my new job, Smiley Face. Uh, well, the, sn the Snow King, thank you for the 300 bits. 300 bits for the halftime show to now be called the Half Toad Show. It's not nearly enough bits. Not nearly enough. Zen, thank you for the 100 bits. Milo's cooking show would be the Bright Beam Half Time Show sponsored by Bug Puffs. Yep, got it. Yeah, Mark, Mark, Mark we're going to need a jingle for uh, Bugs Puff, Bug Puffs. I got you. Week. I right, got cool. you. Yeah. There's no puffs like Bugs uh, Puffs. Do you want a 15 second version or a 10 second version? We're going to need uh, both. <laughs> both? Okay, I got you. Okay. Come on, the commercial license is going to go yeah. through the roof. So that's, if you guys want to check out one of Mark's streams where he makes music, the next three-hour music stream is going to be a 15-second jingle. <laughs> and he still will do it. Oh, he'll still It'll be over time. Three hours. It will, because your computer's going to crash, then it's going to melt, then you're yep. going to get the backup, <laughs> then you'll work on the thing for like 30 minutes. Uh, Mika Pachi. I'm trying to find the Pachi, thank you for the 30 bits. What is the player character stance on Santa? Like, who believes, doesn't, etc.? I don't know if there's a Santa in Alton. Yeah, and there also if there, if there was one, guys would believe it and want to punch him. I was going to say, Kai doesn't believe in the higher powers. You think he's going to believe I, in Santa? Probably, actually. You never know. If, if, there is, if there is one creature in all of creation that Gaius would Goku over, it's the Santa equivalent. There is no there Santa go. in the Alton region, but there is a Popo Jijo, so... <laughs> wow. Killer Chansey, thank you for the 10 bits. Also, I know it's been a few weeks since Bosco uh, got you the stuffed shark, but did you name it yet, Monty? It's I got Blahage. one recently and named it Chomps. It's Blahaj. I just call him Blahaj. Yeah, Blahaj is the actual name, and she's keeping it That's the actual name, and I love it. I think it's the best thing I have. That and my you shy guy. I have, I have a, yeah, I have a Blahaj. I asked Bosco to get it for me when he came came up to visit. I'm like, please, can you get... Like, he messaged me. He's like, hey, I'm at Ikea. You wanted the shark, right? I'm like, yes, the <laughs> biggest one, please. Because they don't sell them in Canada. They're only available in America and some parts of Europe. It's because so. Ikea doesn't exist in Canada. We no, out here making Ikea's. dreams come true. That's that's what we do here. Lord oh. Servitor, thank you for the 45 bits. I'm imagining Otho mm. as a Vindicar assassin now. Otho would oh, hate great. that. He yeah, he really would. He's dying to sleep, and suddenly he's an assassin. He, yeah, Man, he's I can't thrilled. believe you changed your whole subclass in one roleplay moment. You uh, eat one yeah. chicken, and suddenly you're a chicken eater. I mean, Zito, someone earlier did ask how loudly uh, or how much you screamed at, um, uh, what was it? Uh, Lethal Company. Oh, Lethal Company. Oh, uh, I didn't scream at all to the monsters. I only screamed when one of my friends snuck up on me with an air horn. <laughs> oh, oh, that's fucked up. That. That that's so great. fucked up. Mr. Insecure, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, Bug Puffs are the good stuff. Already getting that branding. Zen, thank you for the 100 bits. Gaius has the same relationship to Santa as Vegeta. Oh, man. You may be dealing with the... Youth must be thinking you're dealing with the regular Widow's Peak, but I am a super Widow's Peak. <laughs> you're dealing with the X Factor. No amount of gel will prepare you for me. Uh, Lord Servitor with 100 bits does Copnos believe in Santa? Oh, that's a poll from Ravenloft. What? Listen, if Copnos doesn't believe in gods or says screw the gods, I don't know if he's believing in Santa, but you But tell Santa's me not a god. He's an archfan. Are you? What are you talking depending about? Depending on who you ask. Oh There's my god. Depending on who you ask. No, no, no. I'm going to nip this in the bud right now. 3.5, the Book of Deities states. Chris Kringle, Santa Claus, is a level 40 archfey. Let's but go. But that's not a god, it's an archfey. You're not a man, you're a chicken. Next, uh, yeah, but, next it's, but it's in the book of deities, though. All I'm saying is, if it's a level 40 archfey, it's still kicking the shit out of Vecna. Uh, kill a chance I mean, <laughs> out of Vecna. That's Kill a low chance. bar to clear. I know, Real but it's still Mark just still beating up on a god. Shit out of Vec. No, <laughs> I, Killer Chansey, thank you for the 10 bits episode title. Let's keep things civil. Uh, I want to I want to see a celebrity death match of Santa versus fucking Vecna. That sounds amazing. I'll be dude. really short. So, Chris Kringle, you've come to my <laughs> land once <laughs> more, have you? <laughs> okay. Just, just bitch slaps him. Bang. Santa, Santa oh, no. Bag, I'm so weak. 
It's Santa's got a bag and it's filled with just like a couple lumps of coal and uses as a bludgeoning weapon. They're literally rocks. And it literally then, tries and to then, teleport no, away. No, 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 Fucking no, no, no. Rudolph just headbutts fucking Vector. No, no, and then he opens his bag and out from the bag, Krampus comes out for the assist. Catch oh my this God, overhead. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm, so, I'm so weak now. I can't believe they yassified me. Damn you, stranger things. What the hell did I come back to? You were weak before. <laughs> I don't know why, but I want right, to believe is that everybody, Santa is, is, every, is everybody back? <laughs> I, I guess. That was All right, Connor, horrible. you're back. Oh, let's do it. Bosco, you're back. No, I never left. Uh, Gaijin, you're good to go? I, I guess. Mark, you're good to go? Indeed. Zan, good to go? Good to go. Never left. Also, Santa's a true yeah. namer. Zito, true. good to go? Oh, pee pee poo poo. All right. Also, I realized I didn't jump over to the slideshow page again like an absolute fool. I was yep. I had to use the bathroom so badly. I need you to understand. This. <laughs> You're I'm like, so I'm sorry. Diving. You had pee so, brain. I'm Going so sorry. Going to the naughty list, Monty. Santa will remember this. No, Santa, no. All right. So as all of you ride up to the stronghold, dismounting immediately... Uh, a few of the berserkers kind of walk up and immediately take the reins of the boar as all of you dismount. Rarishar kind of points towards the stables and informs them where to kind of, you know, lodge them, and they nod and immediately kind of take the boars with them. As you all dismount, uh, Rarishar kind of, like, rubs a little bit more dirt in the wound that you gave him, Otho, uh, and you guys follow uh, Otho the assassin now? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> You gotta say uh, the full guys... title. It's like a tribe called Quest. <laughs> you guys follow him inside of the front doors? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Once again, as you walk inside, you see the pillars displaying various weapons, um, most of them in, in very pristine condition, and then the shield uh, that is just weirdly burnt and dented just sitting there. Uh, however, uh, Rare Gerard kind of guides you forward uh, towards the other set of double doors to the north and kind of throws them open. Uh, as you all enter into the long hall, you see various individuals, actually, uh, servants currently cleaning. Uh, you also see a few men who look to be a little bit more like, um, like assistants, possibly. Like, they seem to be kind of, um, they have, like, scrolls with them, various, like, tablets, things like that. They seem to be kind of, like, talking amongst some other individuals. Uh, however, you do also notice Aya currently uh, standing inside. On her flank is Dessa, of course. Uh, and in front of her appears to be Erdan, uh, the draconic sorcerer man, who seems to be a little exasperated at the moment. Uh, and as you kind of enter, immediately Aya turns and she goes, Rashar! And she like runs over and just grabs him in the center. And he like almost falls backwards and he kind of like... He goes to, like, pat her, but then stops, like, hesitating. And then she me like, pushes away from him, and then she looks towards all of you, and you see her do, like, a little head count. <laughs> like, one, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> and she kind of sighs and, and grabs her chest, and she goes, Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Oh, that, that's right. Uh, hey, we got it. I'm, I'm just going to hold it up like freaking Link finding a new weapon. Rarishar kind of turns and goes, I, I helped as well, uh, quite a bit. He actually did! I did. He smiles, <laughs> like, hesitantly. What? Boy's goes, night. Oh, he found a snake. A snake? Oh. <laughs> it was amazing. That's oh, good. And he invented a brand new snack food for the region. I didn't know that you were a connoisseur of the culinary arts. Oh, Rare Shark oh. blink like twice and goes, yes, I am both of those things. I am no, that. Op offset, offset, what, what you said, I Deary. blink followed by the other one. <laughs> I'm trying to be his wingman, <laughs> damn it. Sorry, one second. That's fine, I'm just presenting the bottle. Um, as Aya takes it, she looks very closely at it. She holds it so gently. She goes, I've never seen one before. It's incredible. You should try one. Uh, no, I think she means the flower. Oh. <laughs> Secretly, but I should try it. <laughs> she sees the flower. <laughs> 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 
I've already created a, a catalyst to make medicine from it. It shouldn't take me too long. Um, so I, I hope I can get it to you right away. Rare Shark kind of goes, um, I got you a flower as well. And you watch him kind of look behind himself. And you guys ever noticed him doing this? And he pulls out like a very large, very huge flower. Like, Monty like pulls out a palm tree. Monty, as he's doing that, <laughs> I'm just imagining him like looking down to grab it. And he just sees us all like with our thumbs up. Like, yeah, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> she takes it. It's like real. Like as she takes it, like she's holding the jar under the crux of one arm. And then just her entire torso is covered by this giant plant i don't know what i'll use it for but thank you um oh wait here i'll finish the medicine and bring it back okay um uh, no Desi, problem Desi, do you mind carrying this and she goes yes of course and she just takes the giant flower <laughs> <laughs> it begins to carry it off <laughs> As you all kind of sit and wait in the main chamber, Rerjar kind of like mulls about. He looks towards Erdan and he goes, why are you here? And Erdan's like, your wife called upon me for a private inquiry and it's now <laughs> done and I'm going to leave now and pretend that everything is fine. And he just like walks away. Okay. He gets dramatic. It's part of his flair. <clears throat> Anyway, once you have your medicine, you intend to return to Eastonville, correct? I mean, that's why we're here in the first place. Mm. I'm going to send some of my men to travel through Hearthland to your lands. When they arrive, they shall train under you and defend your lands. I believe that training could be very important to them, especially against the undead. Our advisors claim that the undead threat could eventually become our threat. So it seems as a worthy investment to send some of my men your way. That is most gracious, your highness. <clears throat> will they be... Go on, my love. Sorry. Will they be traveling with us or will they come at a later time? They'll come at a later time. I, I believe they'll be they traveling can across. travel with us. Okay, just try. I'm just curious. Uh, I know you're. I know your land is very unenthusiastic about the idea of traveling via magic, but would it not would it not benefit us all if you actually had a way to warp in between? He kind of blinks twice and he goes, "I don't know what any of that means at all." It mean but... it it means the capability of standing let's say for example here and then two countries over the next second that is ridiculous no man can run that fast Gaius smiles Mr. at him and then looks to everyone else <laughs> mr agni i think that might be a conversation for the court sorcerer i believe it's something that we should actually ask then because i feel like that's only a benefit for everyone I'm actually inclined to agree. It would be great if we're going to consider opening up any kind of trade in the future. It would make navigating the harsh lands of Delvaria a bit easier for those with things to give. And it He's would make foreign... the trip a lot safer for your merchants. This is a foreign idea, and I do not like it. The idea of those that can simply teleport, as you say, in and out could incur a great risk. We could limit the amount of teleportation that happens only during times of great emergency. You also, if I understand correctly, you get to decide where you want the teleportation point point to be? Is that right? Indeed. So yeah. you could theoretically put it wherever you want and make sure it's well guarded you speak of this and i have no idea of what you speak this is beyond my understanding again okay. i think this is a conversation for the sorcerer okay guys just shrugs yeah i mean i'm with rare Jar. i know nothing of magic mm. we tried boys <laughs> <laughs> we out here you all sit down at a table. Drinks are brought to you. A few snacks to eat. 
Uh, Rare Jar kind of joins you, uh, kind of regales you with some stories of battle and triumph. Um, is there anything you'd want to ask him? This might be your last chance. Mm. <clears throat> How do you keep your beard so wild? I use oils. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you you? Yeah. When I want to fill it out more, I trim the ends and let them grow. Um, I actually think I might have something. Go for We've. It. Well, suffice to say, you have a trophy of your land sitting outside your wall due to us, but would it not be more impressive if, say, one of these days we were to send a trophy of a creature outside of your boundaries to you as a gift why would we care that creature is not a threat to our lands there's no pride to be had of a creature that was not a threat to our people hanging above our doorstep no but there is i <laughs> guys just like shrugs at the same time there is I guess I'm just channeling my uncle in this about the about a hunt of a creature, at least to show the proof and strength of your yourself as a warrior. Mm. You've already and done that, though. Here, you have nothing else to prove, really. I know, but there could be merit in learning of creatures outside your domain, especially that is why... if an, especially if an undead incursion might be upon you. That is why I'm sending you and some of my berserkers for them to gain that information and in return to share it with us later. That is my Guy intent. Guy shrugs. I guess display value. I I know that I speak of fighting and I speak of being a warrior and showing with honor. There is a part of me that wishes to be some sort of I guess, gladiator, or to show some entertainment in what I do. Trophies decay. They rot over time on their walls. No matter how well you preserve them, even if you forge them from steel or iron, they'll rust. But stories, stories is where all great things survive. Ahead of you, guys holds up his book. And you are on the right path. That's me. <laughs> hmm. I have heard continual rumblings of undead. From everything I've heard of what happened to you in Eastern Vale, are you concerned with uh, further incursions in the well, kingdoms that were not as affected? You're asking that of Rarishar? Uh, just looking back towards the group. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not sure. The truth is, we're still kind of figuring out what is going on with all of it. So, I don't want to say it's impossible, but I also don't want to make you feel like it's an imminent threat, because we just don't know. Well, to the north, where my home used to be, apparently it's a poisonous swamp now. I don't know if that was a incursion due to the dragon or to the ash or to the plague itself and the seas of Matarallo are practically infested with undead and that is you my know, point I have heard stories of undead uh, far before I, I was able to meet you at your <clears throat> arrival in Hurtland no, not... go ahead now that I think about it I haven't heard anything back from Mom or anywhere north where I come from Actually, um, when was the last time we checked in with Remu? Did I have the pearl, or was that the, uh... Sorry, that was Final Fantasy fourteen logic. Do I have the stone, or... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I, believe, I, believe I believe you still have it. Shut up, Connor, shut up. <laughs> uh, I believe you do, yeah. I believe, Gaius, you had it, unless it was passed over to someone else. I, I, 
No, because I had to go fuck off. So I, because that that was when I uh, thought I could get my wisdom teeth pulled, and I had to leave for two weeks. We would have so, given it back yeah. to you. It's fine. You I, can have it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So I guess uh, hearing that, Giles would just tap his ear and just start mumbling. What do you say to Rebu? Well, that was four words in sound. Yeah. So no, <laughs> no, onomatopoeias don't count. Solid Snake told us this. Oh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh I guess I'll I'll speak to I will say to him uh our time here is almost complete we'll be on our way home soon do you have anything to report All right You get a message back very quickly uh and you know it's Rebu but the voice is slightly different Oh thank the gods The villagers think you're all dead <laughs> I'm trying to convince them to not call for more help. Running out of time, is what he says. Great. Oh, cool. Uh... So, guys, we'll look back at everyone. Well, Rebu is fine. But apparently everyone in the village believes we are dead. <clears throat> oh, good heavens. How in the world did that rumor spread? why? We have been away for quite some time. And we are... We were brought into a governmental position very early and very swiftly and also, quickly. I would just like to point out, a little ironic that they think we're dead. Yeah, fair. <laughs> well, so, in their defense, you did die. Huh? No, we were in between it. All right, let's of. talk semantics. To, Look, to be, to be fair, you guys went into that house and then disappeared. Yeah. And the yeah. only person who who knows you're alive is Rebu, and he's trying to convince you that you convince like a, an entire town of people that a bunch of adventurers are still alive, even though they haven't shown up at all. Okay, well, so. the point being is, once our time is done here, I suppose we have to hoof it back. Mm. Sergal, you will be staying with us, correct? I believe I've made my decision. And yes, mm -hmm. if the offer's still on the table, I... I believe I would like to stay here for a little longer, at least. I'd like to trade with you, and Air likes your company. And I believe and understand that you might enjoy someone else's company as well. Take a breath and try to shrug off that uh, blush. I would also like to help, if there's any way that I can. If you are truly worried about uh, the royals and Aya's health, I would like to aid in that security. I am afraid, but I have fought fear before. Your being here will be a step towards that. Then I will stay. As he nods towards you, it is at that moment that Aya comes stumbling and panting. Obviously had run. <sighs> I finished it. Oh, dizzy. Sorry, one second. You see Dessa running up behind her, just like, hey, you're not supposed to run. And she's like, sorry, I got so excited. I, I finished it, everyone. I, I finished it right here. And you watch it, you watch as she kind of walks forward, and you see that she has wrapped, individually wrapped these small vials, and it's almost glowing ever so slightly, like the essence mm. of the flower. And she has provided you. Tell me which hope it's like six at least well kids were there. Hold on. i mean i mean to be fair any person uh, who's in medicine has means to make more or at least gives the knowledge to well it's more that we have to get another flower if we want to make more uh mm -hmm. she has seven vials for you oh thank christ hey. okay. one vial for each petal it's very potent um you don't need to dilute it, um, and there could be um, some constipation afterwards. Uh, I'm sure that's. I'm sure that's more than than the, the kids will be. Oh, sorry, it's just we we spent so much time to to, to find this. And now we actually have it, and oh, I'm so sorry it took so long, but 
I'm glad I was able to help. And you can, she's glowing. Like, she mm-hmm. actually, for the first time, like, that you've seen her, really looks like an Azimar. She seems so happy and full of life. <laughs> I'm really glad I was able to help. Oh, uh, that reminds me. Uh, would it be possible to get, to get any sort of copy of the research or, or the, the oh, formula? Yeah. Uh, Dessa, and you watch as Dessa actually has repackaged all the information you had given her, basically her prior and hands it off to you. I've added in my notes as well. I also copied down a lot of the research that your friend made, um, and I'll be sure to study it more myself. Perhaps in future, if there's anything in relation to this particular illness, I would be most willing to help you if you were to seek me out again. Oh, uh, and I have this for you, and she hands you a letter. Uh, who wants to take it? I'll take it. I ask respectfully that you open that once you're out of Delvaria, please. You see Rajar kind of give her a quizzical look, and she turns to him and kind of gives him a warm smile, and he's immediately like, he's like, what's going on? And she smiles and goes, never mind, I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) Excellent. Was there anything you wanted us to take back to your parents? Um, oh, goodness. I believe when Stragal returns back, he could deliver a message for my parents. Um, but if you do see them and Odette, tell them that I'm doing very well. I'm being treated very kindly and I'm very happy. And you've seen it firsthand. Tell them what you saw here. Um, maybe leave out the part where Rejar uh, almost drowned you and killed you. That part's not so great. And she kind of gives him a stare and he's like happy and he's like, oh. To be fair, yeah, be he... sad, you fuck. To be fair, he didn't do that to you, so... That is true. That is true. I'm sad to see you go, but Master Stigal, I hear your stay, which is good news. Yes, Your Grace. Please, I implore you, visit again. I'd love to speak with you. You are all so interesting, and I'd love to help you in any way that I can. And I won't speak exactly for him, but I'm sure Rarejar would love to see you again as well. Right? And you see him kind of, I suppose it would be pleasant. Just do not break any laws in Delvaria is all I ask. Gaius playfully punches him in the arm. (laughs) Full (laughs) wind-up. A challenge. (laughs) A game. Roll me a constitution saving throw. Sure, fuck it, why not? Break your hand. Fuck it, why not? Why not? Do you need me to giant spike? <laughs> <laughs> no, you are not your large size. Okay. Soft 20. He nice. punches you solidly in the shoulder, but you are like a stone. And he kind of re- reaches his fist back and goes, very good. You also passed. Hey. I'm, Milo, I'm... you must find an answer for your armor. I wish I could have taught you more, but I am not experienced enough to help you. I'm sorry. Oh, oh no, that's fine. Up, up. And he, he, like, gestures for him to, like, lean down in his giant form so, so Milo can whisper in his ear. He kneels onto one knee and then leans over. Remember what we talked about? Small things every day. I already got her a flower. I will get her more. I it's know. A good, it's a good start. It's a good start. <laughs> a small thing, he says, with this small eight thing. foot tall flower. A, a fucking plant the size of his wife. Here you go, honey. <laughs> I it's got you this plant. Of... Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> Feed me. All right. Well, with medicine in hand, do you guys have any final farewells to Stragall? Um, mm. Before we go, I think Redmond might still have something of mine. That I do, you hear as the door opens. You oh. see him walk in with Mira's staff. However, at the end of which is a wooden carved sextant with a telescope at the end. Oh, Yo, oh that's cool. badass. Dude, you yeah. got so much sextant. <laughs> got sextant appeal. I had to recarve the figurehead of the wood, but Aya had some presents that she received as gifts on her way back and decided to give you one to help with your staff. Here you go. It won't work as well as a weapon, but to help you navigate the stars and track them, it should be most useful to you. Thank you so much. You look damn fine holding on to it. I guess it's kind of my staff now. 
Mm. You'll also notice at the bottom, I've extended it by using some of the horn of the beast you slayed. Fear to be a nice touch. And it should oh. it should survive wear and tear more than wood. Thank you, really. It is my pleasure. I am a craftsman by trade, of course. Besides, it feels only fair that you're lending us your owly friend here, and he kind of rustles your head, Strigal. Strigal's cheek will turn red. Oh, no! <laughs> he just passes oh, out. Contact. Cool, cool. <laughs> Physical contact. I, uh, I don't know if this will be helpful or not for you. Maybe more the court sorcerer, but, uh, here. And he's gonna hand a copy of uh, the maps that he's made for Devaria to Redmond. I figured I had to leave something after all that your land had to show me. We could put this to use. The land may be shifting and ever changing, but even seeing it as it is now could be useful in the future. Thank you. It was a fine gift. And you watch as Redmond kind of folds it and pockets it. Hell yeah. <sighs> Call me. <laughs> so, unexpectables as you stand, the five of you before Stragal, Lady Aya, Rajar Ragnus, Razorback Redmond, and Dessa, as well as Erdan looking unpleasant and unhappy in the corner. <laughs> Rajar kind of framing the rest of them. You all have your medicine in hand. You pull out Wark. No, before we go. Trigal doesn't get a fucking moment. Gaius grabs him by the forearm, pulls him in, and one arm hugs him. Aww. Trigal will embrace him, and Gaius will feel a, a slight tear on his shoulder. Oh, none of that. Gaius, like, pulls him away and looks at him. We're not going away forever. Of course not. And of course, you know where we are, and soon enough we'll know where you are, too. It's just a fu it's just a small goodbye for now. Indeed, Harthling couldn't have sent us a finer companion. You are always welcome in Eastern Vale. I will admit, I had a pleasant time on this uh, unexpected journey, but I'm at a loss of words. Gaius, I am used to being the one who is a confidant in giving advice, and yet you have absolutely taken me to school every time I've asked for some. I thank you. <laughs> My intelligence is limited, you know this. But I got strength to boot, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Hit hard. Struggle. He, he, he kind of le leans in a little close. You need to popularize that new snack food that we discovered. Oh yes. Um, I, if you don't mind, I next time we meet, I, Master Milo, I think I would like to write a cookbook with you. Oh, sounds lovely. Oh, he just no. perks up super hard. I'm oh. gonna sell like hotcakes. Oh, uh, I'll talk to my publisher. Uh, yeah, yes, of course. Uh, we'll call it bugs. We'll call it bug snacks with an X. <laughs> Two X's. <laughs> I didn't know you had a publisher. Uh, yes. Uh, well, there's one that works at the tower. That makes sense. Why did I think of that? Well, because <laughs> you don't publish things normally, but hopefully that will change. Uh, same thing goes to you, Master Guys. Of course, whenever you're. Ready to publish, I'm certain I can make my contacts available to you. Gaius looks at his book and, like, holds it to his chest. I don't know when it'll be finished. It'll give me a great pause, but I'll, I would very much like that. I'll take your time. Master Iskon, I... It's been truly wonderful to watch you grow in the short time that I have known you, and I look forward to next time we meet, seeing how much more you've learned. Iskan's just gonna go in for a whole hug. Oh, None yeah. of this one-armed nonsense. Oh, shut yeah. up! I get the warrior's handshake! No, 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 no hours no. hug. <laughs> I learned a lot with your help. Thank you. Of course. And, uh, well, I hope whatever, however long you decide to stay here, you have a happy time. You deserve it. I believe I have much more I wish to learn, but at least I know what I, it is I want to learn. And that brings me to you, Master Otho. He 
Cox the Brow. For a short time, I have also known you. I have seen you contemplate and chew, struggle to not become what you do not wish to be. I hope when next we meet, you find out what it is exactly you wish to be, and you make strides towards that instead. I promise you it is far more rewarding venture. My father also always used to tell me, where there's a will, there's a way. And that extends to all of you as well. Indeed. And Master Kai? Kai will kind of look up and totally not wipe something out of his eye. Yeah. Uh, Strigal is going to pull something out of his bag. He's had for a little while now. Uh, he's going to hand you a crystal ball. Oh! Oh! What is you could scry with that. <laughs> you can ponder sure. well it so depends hard. on how much it's worth <laughs> we found this in the layer of Orestes' lung I trust wherever you are going to be going next it might be useful considering who lungs accomplices might be you have a lot of work ahead of you but I am certain when next we meet you will have accomplished quite a bit Kai is going to step forward and take the orb out of your hand. Uh, he's then going to throw it to the side towards Otho, who hopefully catches it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just going to hug you extremely tight. He'll hug back. No matter how hard the sails are ahead, try to keep a song in your heart. I don't think you understand how much you've helped me, and I don't think that I could probably find the words to tell you. So the next time I see you, I'm just going to show you. I look forward to it. Fair winds and following seas. And to you, Master Kai. And Strigal will move over towards uh, Rear Girard and Aya and kind of stand at attention with his halberd, kind of... Resting against his shoulder. Like to imagine you kind of take place opposite the desk on the other side. Perfect, yeah. All right. There's the medicine in tow. You've been lovely hosts. On behalf of Eason Vale, I would love to visit you again. I hope you do. I really do. It was a joy. I wish the problems that you're facing didn't exist, but to know that we can help at the very least, it Fills my heart with joy. You are instrumental, your highness. You as well. Good luck. <laughs> and of course, dark. when it's all done, hopefully you can come visit us in Eastonvale. Oh, I would love that. And Rarejar looks over like... Of course, his highness is also welcome to come as well. No. She looks up expectantly and he's like, we shall wait for time to pass and perhaps we shall... Honeymoon, I guess, whatever they call it. We can do that, I suppose. <laughs> Very well. Well then, gentlemen. I guess it's time. Let's go. Kai is going to allow Work to walk out from his robes and <gasps> we'll put him... Aya, oh, no. like, sees him and it's like, oh my god, it's so cute. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. Oh, yeah, Here. you haven't met. Work, go say hi and goodbye at the same time. And he'll kind of Our... like launch him like a, a bird into the air. <laughs> <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> Richard intercepts and grabs it like a squeaky toy and then hands it to no! Aya no, no, no. You threw it. I became defensive. I'm sorry. And he hands it off to her. <laughs> hi, little guy. Oh, he's Work's so just cute. Like, Work! <laughs> Work! <laughs> work. 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 He can fly, but he's so heavy. He's, she's like petting him like a cat, and he's like, bark. <laughs> she like throws him a bit like a dove, like gently like a dove, and he flaps over and lands next to you. And as he lands, he turns into a scepter form. Kyle, pick it up. Well, if you're all ready, I am. Now, my question Until... above board, are you returning back to Isamel Castle or back to your conduit point in Augurin's mansion? I, I think, think we're, we... we're tethered to that point in Augurin's castle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think thing. we should return so to So we the should probably just point. deliver it and yeah, then go. Yeah, we should go straight there. Just head straight there. <laughs> Based <laughs> on what Rebu said, I think yep. it's probably <laughs> the best choice. All right. 
as you all take your hand upon the scepter of Eason Vale. I'm going to three, two, one this again. Because we always yep. have all right, to. Here we go. Sorry. Here we go. <clears throat> it's going to sound awful. All right, here yep. we go. Three, two, one. Pierce, Pierce, Pierce the Veil! Vale! As the hot air of Delvaria leaves your body, as you feel yourself shunted, as the coolness immediately hits you, and you find yourselves in the living room of a lavish mansion. <sighs> oh, immediately, the, the sensation that hits you is how cold it is. Oh. Oh, like this is... it's it's like going from like plus thirty weather into like an air conditioned freezer. Oh great! Is plus thirty hot for you, Mike? It is. Yes, it is. It's thirty, it's 30 Celsius. Celsius. Mark. Mark. No, I know. I'm just I've I've experienced forty one, so I'm just like. Have you, you get experience hotter? Doesn't mean thirty is any better. <laughs> Have you experienced negative forty cold weather, Mark? Uh, actually, I experienced oh, negative actually, yeah, fifty-four with the wind chill. So yeah, uh, yeah that's fair. Fact, <laughs> negative forty is both the same in Celsius and Fahrenheit. That's true. It's true. Yeah, it sucks in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. Yeah. Okay. May I, may I remind true. you? I also was around during the blizzard of twenty sixteen right, yeah. in New York, oh, where God. half the fucking Ooh. East Coast was wiped from the map with electricity. <laughs> all right, all right, Good all right. Times. To change our map to Apple because you guys are back in Apple now. Oh I know. my god! Crazy. No, wait a minute. Is this we're the first back. time Gaius was here? I think. We were yeah, because you weren't with us. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. Also, so the, for those playing the home game, uh, we were in Delvaria since August second. Holy crap! <laughs> so, <laughs> right. It's been four months. It has been. To be fair, one of those was October. That's yeah. True. Yeah. But to be yeah. fair, it still counts. Alrighty. As you all find yourselves inside of the lavish mansion, uh, you guys had left right in the middle of the living room. You see Ogrun's makeshift workspace, the massive dinner table that he's repurposed as a study desk covered in alchemist instruments, as well as piles and stacks of papers and books. There's a crackling fireplace behind it that seems to have been just lit, as it is kind of late-ish evening at this point in the day. Uh, however, you do not see Ogrun at all. Mm -hmm. Ogrun, children, we're back. Anybody home? Oh, right. Uh, could someone bring me up to speed who this fellow is? Uh, As you say yes. that, you hear footsteps approaching. I think you're about to find out. And turning the corner, and I will show his artwork again. Yay! Oh, shit. It's time. Courtesy of the wonderful Darky Arts. Darky Arts, yeah. Who is absolutely incredibly leave. Who oh, actually? I gotta. Incredible. Right. Incredible. Incredible. As the French say. I gotta change his name here. Wait, you do? Oh, shit. This, he this is now Steven. YouTuber, if, I, if I say that to him, he's probably gonna be like, why do you sound like a fucking idiot? <laughs> <laughs> because you're speaking French. It's exactly right. <laughs> uh, Gaius, you see turning around the corner this creature. Uh, Gaius tenses up. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's 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 fine. No, that's it's fine. That's that, fine. That's him. Uh, that's him. Uh, you see him just disappear. He just turns invisible and vanishes. Nervous. No, 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 I'm gonna come back. It's okay. He comes into visibility. It looks a little sheepish. <laughs> we got the medicine. This is this is Gaius. This is the the other one we were talking about that sometimes is with us. Oh, Gaius like holds his hand up and waves, but doesn't say anything. Like just goes hello. Hello. It's nice to meet you. I am sorry for frightening you. It's no, okay. We uh we have what you needed though. We we have the 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 fl the flower cure. I think from your gone notes. for so long. I had feared the worst. No, it's just a a bit of an adventure. Hmm. Wee bit of an adventure. The cure. May I see it? This doctor. Did they make notes of their efforts? Oh, they did. They they upgraded. Uh, uh upgraded. Uh, they added all their notes to to the research that you had. So you know, if it needed to be synthesized again, he kind of extends a large hand, uh, kind of reaching out for these items. I guess I had them, so I'll give them. Yes, yeah. you did. Yes, okay. you do. Tiny, tiny little Milo hand and a massive hand. He takes the papers and he places them on the desk, and then he takes the files so carefully. 
like just the most careful touch and kind of looks at them and then closes the box and then places it on the table and immediately starts pouring through the notes that Aya had wrote. I see. Yes, Vera. I see. A flower of life to counteract the death of which I've caused. It makes sense. Medicine derives from life. Kind of looks up and looks very sad. When they take this, they will be well quickly, she says. An instant cure. Laced Maybe with you... magics similar to your restoration magics. Maybe a little constipated for a while, but that should okay. clear up in no time. That is minor. That is fine. All Are this... you okay? I just... This has been my goal since my creation. And now it is so close. I must confess. I... He kind of grabs his chest a little bit. I don't know what it is, but... I feel very sad. Why would I feel sad when I am doing the right thing? Um... Maybe I could shed some light on that. No, no pun intended. E ever since your creation, this has been your goal. So maybe you're feeling conflicted the fact that after this, it's like, what what do you do with the, the rest of your life? And that's understandable. I will think of it after I am done. And I still owe you your reward for your efforts, that which I have denied you for so long. <clears throat> he takes uh, five of the vials and begins to move towards the children. I'm assuming you guys follow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> As he goes up, you see that the kids are currently reading a stack of books that he's provided them, and they immediately kind of run and grab his cloak, and they're like, Ogrid, Ogrid! And he's like, did you bring us a snack? And he's like, no, I have brought you medicine. It is time for you to go home. And you see the kids kind of all just chirp up at him like, I get to see my mom? And they all get kind of excited and like start, you know, jumping up and down. And they're very excited as he very tenderly with each child takes them and gives them the medicine. Some of them protest a little bit. It probably doesn't taste the greatest, oh. but... He's very encouraging. The youngest, uh, who's the two-year-old in a crib, uh, he also feeds the medicine to her. Aww. And it is as if all of you can feel a breath of life in the space. It will be well, then. She says that this is certain, this Aya that made this medicine. I have asked much of you and more. May I ask one more thing of you, please? Sure. He kind of looks towards the um, the house itself. May we speak outside briefly, please? All right. All right. Leave your way. outside. Children, wait here, please. And they're like, okay, bye bye. And they like slam the door behind him, like, you know, oh. like a kid would enthusiastically do. Yeah. yeah. I do not want the people in the village to know what happened here. I don't want them to think that things like me are okay. I know it seems wrong to lie, but I need you to tell their parents that their minds were altered that they were kept prisoner here, and that you rescued them. Will you leave here? I... I will collect your orb, and then there is one more thing I must do. But I need you to deliver the, the children to their parents in my stead, and tell them that their memories have been altered, so that way stories of me are not to be believed. What do you what intend to do? Something that needs to be done, or else that village will never be free. You're going to destroy yourself, aren't you? I don't know if I can. He kind of looks at the house. 
But with this place looming over that village, the villagers will never feel safe until it is gone. This place must be destroyed. Do you have somewhere to go after that? I... He does. I do? Otho <clears throat> narrows his eyes a little bit at Ogrun. I can't remember how much we told you about the place we come from, but... The undead aren't necessarily an uncommon sight in Eason Vale. And we are lacking in a physician. Come with us. You would have me, a creature that only causes pain and misery, in your company. Enough of that. You have saved these children. Can I save more people with you? Yes. Then once it is done, I will go with you. I will be honored to save more lives. I am Agru, and I am yours to command. Well then, Agru, physician of Eastonvale, I welcome you into our employ. I do not know if I will be a good physician, but I am practiced in magic, if you have use of that, at the very least. Yep. Oh, yeah. The only thing we ask is that you try. I will do so. And yeah. one more thing, no more of this, I'm a creature of destruction. You did so much here. Leave that behind. This is hard. Indeed. I will Eastern Vale is a land of new starts. A new start. New life. I will collect the children. Meet me out front of the mansion. You got it. I must gather their things. You watch as he turns around. Also, do be mindful of the mat on the front step. It leads into a pit. <laughs> Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm so people, glad we didn't come into the front door. On it. <laughs> if you, you can't do see the small in, fine print that says to die. It is okay if you fall through. I put pillows at the bottom where there used to be spikes. So oh, it's safe. oh my god! Oh my god! I love him. Wow. I guarantee you, the kids use it like a slide. <laughs> Wee. Wee. Arun has joined the party. Yeah, Ogren's officially part let's, of the party. Let's go! He is he is a very simple alchemist, I will say this. We'll, we'll go into more of what he can do once I am but a home. simple man who can turn oh. copper into gold. He, <laughs> you know what? You're hired. He's 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 more like if I describe him based off of campaign one, uh he is more like Enceladus in the sense that he is a really good researcher. He's very Ooh. good at reading and okay. and getting good information. That's yeah. cool. Well we've got a whole ass library he can go through, so for real. <laughs> all right. We're gonna be best friends. As you all head outside, you find yourself once again in the storm. <laughs> Cause if you remember, oh, yep. this place has a has a unnatural uh storm to it. You guys really should bundle up more. You aren't is, wearing anything. It is almost like you are drowning in air, as this is the most moisture you've experienced for like a long time. <laughs> I, uh, I know. I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to not focus on what's happening right now. <laughs> kind of reminds skin, me of Martirolo a little bit. My skin, it's soft, <laughs> <laughs> supple. I imagine I Iskan just. Him. Immediately sheds an entire layer of skin in one go. No, he can't shed when he's wet. <laughs> he has to wait till it's dry. You all hear the sound of laughter and heavy stomps as you see Agrun emerge out from the front door, very, very generously stepping over top of the pit trap that he assumedly either set up or repurposed. Uh, and you can see in each arm, he's like holding the children like by their waist and kind of swinging them around. And they're like, wee! Like they're having a great time. <laughs> uh, but in his two hands, he's holding the youngest, the, the two-year-old. And as he kind of walks over 
he drops them and uh or like gently sets them down uh and then kind of pushes them towards you uh he hands the two-year-old to who wants the two-year-old i'm How too big small is the two-year-old <laughs> yeah i was gonna it's say a, it's a human two-year-old so probably i'll take him okay okay yeah uh he hands you the the little girl uh, who seems to be a little tired, but kind of waking up. The kids seem, you met them first. They seem way more energetic. And yeah, that medicine was fast acting. They're no longer coughing. Nice. Wow. Given the fact that Aya mentioned that she used something similar to lesser restoration mm -hmm. to kind of enhance it based off of your abilities, Milo, mm -hmm. makes sense. They're probably cured of their sickness and hopefully the medicine will prevent them from catching it again. Right. Plugging it's called that cocaine. Hole, plugging cocaine. that plugging that hole in the cup that was spilling out their life essence. Right. As it were. Uh there are four other children. There's James, who's five, uh Molly, who's eight, Catherine, who's six, and Tom, who's eleven. Tom! <clears throat> Tom the eldest. Who's taking who? I mean, if they want to Guys will take whichever one wants the flock over to him because he's like, oh, it's like my little brother. This is fine. I know what this is like. Uh, the little girl, Catherine, looks up and he goes, are you a cat? <laughs> no, I'm a goat. <laughs> oh, why can't you talk? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I bleed in her, I bleed in her face to make her laugh. <laughs> just turns back into a real goat. No, no only the <laughs> sentence and the one explaining that. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you know no. what? No, Gaius, Gaius does give her a magic. He, like, leans in and, like, motions her to move in so he can whisper into her ear. She gets close and kind of puts a hand over her mouth as if to, like, listen closer. I'm a goat. You're a what? I'm a magic goat. Magic goat. Magic goat. <laughs> like right in her ear. <laughs> it's like the red cat from BG3. <laughs> <laughs> Were you scared? Also, also, you feel a tug at the, the back of your, your jacket. Hmm? See another little girl. Uh, I believe her name Hello is there. Can I hold your hand? Of course. She like he'll, reaches up and grabs her hand. Yeah, he'll take his glove off and he'll grab her hand. Are you ready to uh, see your parents? Yeah, I want to see my parents. I can't wait to tell them all about Ogrun. Hmm. Iskun's gonna kind of walk towards the eldest. Yeah, Tom. Yep. So, uh, you're Tom, right? Yeah. You did a good job keeping all the others in check. Or I guess maybe not in check is the wrong word, but keeping an eye on them. <laughs> I took care of them, yeah. Well, good job. He watches so, all... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, he's going to pull out his map uh, and kind of pull Tom close. So uh, we're here, and... I think your home's over here, right? And he's going to point towards Ocean's Reach. Ocean's Reach. Right? Is that wrong? Or are they, they're in Unisable, right? Yeah, they're from Unisable. My bad. Okay, so he'll point towards Unisable. Yeah, that's where I'm from. We cut down trees there. Do you want to help lead us back to your homes? Yeah. He watches, he runs over to the woods and grabs like a stick. You know, like a kid grabs a stick, like this is my, my, my wizard stick. <laughs> my walking staff let's go yeah <laughs> james the youngest boy uh walks up to you milo and kind of just doesn't really say anything and then just kind of like nods to you kind of shy and sheepish oh how old are you <laughs> I'm, I'm actually 18 why are you so short mm, just how i am <laughs> sometimes people are just short what are you Short. <laughs> <laughs> it was like I, 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 I can I, can I tell ahead. you a secret? Oh sure. I'm I'm short too, but I'm gonna be tall when I'm a grown up. Well, just just never forget that there's nothing wrong with being short. 
Right, well, each of you have a child. Let's go. Oh, no! <laughs> I have all the I components ran away I need. To avoid this. I'm not ready for this kind of responsibility. We finally have all those spell components. You all take about <laughs> three steps. <laughs> Reel it in, guys. I'm sorry. 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 Each of you kind of either carrying a child or holding a hand of a child take about three steps until four of you, Kai, you keep the two-year-old, but the other four children immediately break off from your hands and run up to Ogryn. As you turn your heads to see, they just run up to Ogryn and just give him a final big hug. Aww. Aww. And you see him kind of lean down and just hug all of them. And while his face is obscured, you can just see tears welling up in his eyes and pouring Aww. down his face Aww, as he hugs this them. man. And as the kids kind of walk back towards you, they turn back and go, We'll never forget you, Agroon! And you just hear him go... <laughs> Aww. And as the kids kind of re-grab your hands, you can see a form in the rain as Agroon casts invisibility on himself to hide he himself again. Back in the oh, my God. oh, Jesus. It's fine, he's got a new home, guys. If you cast see invisibility, you just see that gif of David Tennant crying in the rain. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> As you make your way through the woods, you begin to hear scary voices from the trees. Turn back. Turn around. Like, trying to scare you. The children get scared uh, and cling to you all closer as the voices kind of frighten them. Don't worry. It's not anything that's going to hurt you. No one's going to hurt you. Not while we're around. Eventually, you make your way past the living statues that aren't living at all, but are instead illusionary statues meant to frighten and terrify. Make your way through the woods of whispers until eventually the storm breaks. You can see the path that leads down to the village. And keep on walking. Mm-hmm. As you approach, you hear a voice, sound of an argument going on in the town. Uh, okay. Can we you make see, out what's being said? You hear some shouts, but as you kind of turn the corner into the village, you see a dragonborn. A familiar dragonborn. No. Uh, hmm. huh. uh. The pipe that he has at his waist is the mm. most telling Yep. <laughs> You yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> he was a dragonborn when you left him, you guys. That's right, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't forget. And you see Miromir, the leader, flanked by two other members of the village, currently seemingly arguing with Rebu. But as you all approach, the conversation falls silent. As immediately one of the adults looks over and says, Tom! Tom! And then just, like, stumbles forward and immediately runs towards you, Eskan, and just grabs Tom and spins him in the air and hugs him. You begin to hear shouts, The children! The children are back! And doors are thrown open as the people make their way out and immediately run to their children, collecting them from the rest of you. The kids begin to cry as well as the parents well with emotions, holding their children so closely, so tightly as if to never let them go again, kissing them on the forehead and checking them over for any signs of injury, of which there is none. Mirror Mirror kind of joins us and he goes, oh, you were gone for so long. We thought you had died. What happened? We uh, helped the kids. They're all right? Yep. Well... It's mostly. What do you mean mostly? What happened to them? What was in that damned house? They're, they were very sick, and whatever sickness they had has been messing with their heads. They've been talking about wild stories. Yes, we had to make sure they were ready to travel before we came back. Otherwise, we don't know what those damnable woods would have done to them. Elmore Lark Cole, where is the bastard? Where is he? gone. You killed him, then? 
He is gone. What do you mean gone? Could he come back? No. no. He will never hurt anybody ever again. Of that you can be assured. You hear a woman call out, Elmore, look the house! And as you all turn and look, you see a moat of flame in the far distance of the forest where that mansion is. And you just see it just on fire. The artificial <clears throat> storm is sucked away and disappears as the dark clouds that encroached over the village vanish almost instantly. And you can see a far off plume of smoke erupt over the earth as the blaze continues on and the villagers begin to cheer in happiness, hugging their children and cheering, lauding you as heroes. Thanks and praises are raised for you and you can just feel the energy just whoop up as the entire village just cries tears of joy seeing that damned mansion burn down to a husk. You did it. You burned the damn place down. Now no one can ever live in that damned place. We don't have much money, but anything, anything to thank you. Please, your heroes in Unisable, you are welcome here always. How can we repay you for this, please? You don't owe us anything. But you've done so much for us. This was for your kids. This is kind of what we do. If you want to pay us back, make sure you raise those kids right. And we'll also maybe avoid the woods for a little while. We will do so, unless anything else escape. I want to ask you what you found, but by the looks of your faces, it seems too painful to say. You, probably you said you were from. Anyway. You said you were from Eastonville, correct? Oh, yes. Yeah. We are. Uh, we craft things here. We're craftsmen. If you have any need of any furniture or, or anything, tools, we would be happy to create anything for Eason Vale. Hmm. Perhaps that hmm. is how you can pay us back. Aye. Commerce would be nice. Indeed. We are open to trade with Eason Vale. Anything you would need. You have our word. Thank you. Truly, thank you. You may stay here for as long as you want. We will keep your beasts without any, any payment for the stables. And, um... Rebu, was it? And you see the dragonborn kind of nod. Apologies for my harsh words. I had thought of disappearance of your companions, that it was their failure, and I should have believed more. My humblest apologies. Rebu kind of drinks it and goes, oh, no, 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 no apologies. This wasn't a big deal. It's just, you know, just gotta trust me when I say I'm right, you know? Iskan's gonna kind of look back at the party and kind of gather everyone closely really quickly. Do we actually have time to stay? There's I mean, a lot we well, need to take care of. There's also the matter of the cooldown period for the teleportation. Right. But I'm asking, do we want to try and go back now or do we want to wait it out? It's worth pointing out, you do have a direct teleportation circle in Ocean's Reach. Mm -hmm. Can right. you use that immediately? You can use you can use teleportation circles immediately. When you're not teleporting through a circle, you have to wait the days to activate. Gotcha. Right. What I was going to get at in character is <clears throat> we also have to take account the fact that we will have a guest with us. Hmm. Maybe we can... Oh, it feels really bad to suggest this, but it makes the most sense. What if we send Ogren back with Rebu the long way? I'm sorry, I, f I heard my name. I feel like there's a conversation involving me that I should be a part of. He kind of leans over and <laughs> oh, looks at like, you all. Oh, for like <laughs> seconds, seconds with his finger to come over. We hadn't really decided yet. Uh, I was more just... Can before, okay, up before, before you start talking, okay? What the fuck, you guys? You left me behind for a very long period of time. Hello, I only just showed up here. Hi, guys. Thank Hello. you for your messages, by the way. That is worth noting, but... Oh, my goodness. I almost had to keep off an angry mob. We got caught up in quite a few 
things. <laughs> Love to we went to Delvaria. We fought a bunch see... of standworms. You went to Delvaria. I assure you it was necessary. Gaius holds his great axe and shows it to him. We got new weapons in Delvaria. We no, he, may we have... something. Uh, yeah, and we may have won the Grand Hunt. We also found the cure for those children in Delvaria before you start assuming we were all over there for fun. No, I'm not assuming anything. I just, that would explain why you were gone for as long as you were gone. But also you were in Delvaria. Hmm. It was a lot. I imagine so. I've been in Delvaria too as well. Wait a minute. Are we still wearing the like Delvarian like clothing? Yeah, I guess we would be. <laughs> yeah. The ones of you that bought it, yes. Yep, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm fucking wearing clothing where I'm supposed to be protecting myself from sand and the blistering cold at night. Mm -hmm. yeah, and wearing... now it's wet and waterlogged. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it's good. It's all see through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, that reminds me, uh, the letter. Oh, I. Uh, I'm gonna crack that thing out. We're no longer in Delvaria, so no you know. In Delvaria. <laughs> rip it and rip it, brother. Whoa. You open the letter. It's very simple inside. It's from Aya. It reads, "Thank you for your visit. Hope to see you again." I twisted his arm, but I think this would be of much use to you. Erdan uses it to play uh, cards against some peers to the far west. Perhaps you can use it for more nobler causes. And underneath appears to be the sigil for a teleportation circle. Oh. 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 oh! Nice. You may want to let Erdan know when you're coming. It's no. blocked behind a stone door. No, we show no, no. up whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> We're gonna Gaius. show up with eight boom boxes, a clown, a bounce house. It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah, Gaius, you already you already knew about this because you you read on him that he has uh -huh. this. Yeah. Yep. So, Gaius so, just like reads the note and just goes. <laughs> One last gift from Aya. Oh. Ooh. You guys have a direct teleportation circle to Arcastoria. You may add that Let's into your Let's go. Life. We can yeah. actually go back whenever Let's we want. Let's go right back. Let's Erdan go right now. Has, Erdan has a secret teleportation circle to go out and play cards with his friends. Secret <laughs> circle. <laughs> Gaius was the only one who discovered it. it. That's fucking great. <laughs> Aya knew about it. That's why he seemed bent out of shape when you arrived, because she was basically oh, getting man. Uh, that's a hell of a thing to give us. Honestly. Yep. People yep. she's known for like a week. Yep. We, we just turned the fucking corner. Rareshar hey. looks down. Hi, Rareshar! <laughs> <laughs> In Rareshar's own word, starts. she is incredibly trusting. Like, she, she trusts very quickly, which is, again, a, both a positive and a negative in a way. But, yeah. Boy, when we All do right. that to Hearthland to invade the second time, they're going to totally win this time. <laughs> oh god so, do we want to tell the townsfolk that we are not staying the night uh yeah i i i, I above game say yeah we should probably get i mean are we leave at night time, they're himself. not gonna see anything because yeah. here's the thing right are we traveling back to ocean's reach and taking Agrun with us on the teleportation circle or are we getting him to eastern vale a different way i would is, say we do the teleportation circle yeah i was about to quicker. say is there is there a mechanical problem with taking another person on a teleportation circle no you can take whoever you well, want there you go so we can like rebu and the there, beast there, with us there might be an rp problem with taking a sewn together dead man through ocean's reach whatever we'll, we'll just give him a big coat night. to wear also I he can cast invisibility yeah, for real. That is true. We did just see that. That's in his yeah. defense, he literally kidnapped children in the village secretly. So he's yeah. very good at stealthing. <laughs> yeah, but, but that and also we could just literally say he he's a barbarian. B -b barbarian. Oh my god. Can Guys? we take the hey, this is easy. with us? He's going to be invisible. We're going to walk to the circle at night. Is, We're good. Yep. Is, is, yeah. he, is he our version of Sergeant Hatred? Yeah, oh my god, you're right! <laughs> I, I'm, oh I'm my gonna, god, he's our I'm Sergeant say, Hatred! <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say, yeah, probably not the best idea because it, it, it seems like the cloak would be a good idea if someone sees him and recognizes parts of him. Because remember, he's made up of people from their graveyard. Yeah. Well, I yeah. mean, we, he's gonna meet us outside the town anyway. 
Right? Oh That's what he said. Grandpa's ear? <laughs> <laughs> can we can we is that elbow anywhere? Monty, can we take the um axe beaks with us on the teleportation circle? Yeah, that's how you guys got there. Yeah. Okay. I forgot. I, it's been a while. It has been a while. I do not blame cool, you at all. Cool. But I think the one thing we should do is um maybe also tell Rebu what the fuck we're gonna be doing. Well that, yeah, we're uh, yeah. discussing our game first what we actually are going to do so we can discuss in game what we're going to do. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Triple to make it discuss. easier. For you, I imagine you guys collect your mounts. The villagers actually give you a bunch of rations if you're willing to take them. Let's yeah. go, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Take the rations. Otho, write down two bottle two bottles of wine for you, Otho. They give you as a gift. Ooh. Is it good wine or is it like eh, wine? It's 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 good for for the people living here. Like let's just say that. This is like a wedding <laughs> a occasion. Commonwealth wine. wine. <laughs> okay. Flyover state wine. <laughs> Middle shelf wine. <laughs> right, Middle shelf right. is pretty good. Yeah. They also give you as many rations as you want from the in the forms of produce mm -hmm. and, and meats as things like that. Seven hundred. <laughs> <Well. laughs> Jeez. Off the um, ground? And, oh fuck <laughs> off! Yes! God damn it. Oh the the ball was right there and that was a home run. You guys, uh, you, you guys want a wedge of cheese or some bread or they're yeah, they're off. Yeah, crackers. Whatever, whatever, whatever they would like to impart on us, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like. something that's not gonna like demand Tom's, too much of them. Tom's father gives you two bottles of wine. Ooh, uh, nice. Catherine and Molly's parents uh, give you a very nice wedge of cheese, which will count cool. for, I'll say, for about 10 rations. This is a giant Holy wedge of cheese. Is salivating. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. how many rations? Ten. Ten. Ten rations worth of cheese. So we each get two? We each get yeah. two. Someone two warned wedges. Pharaoh ahead of time before he hears about this. Correct. <laughs> Uh, James's father appears to be a, a woodsmith. Uh, he gives you guys as a, as a present. Uh, it's a little unwieldy, but he gives you um, basically some brooms, some very nice, well-made broomsticks. Mm. Just as like a thank you. <laughs> Ooh. Quarter staff, uh, oh, aka quarter staff. How do uh, we animate them? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. Our army uh, of brooms. And. Ellen's mother, who seems to be a single parent, uh, she gives you a box containing uh, essentially like a cal calligrapher's supplies, specifically. Like very nice calligrapher's Ooh, supplies. Very cool. Yeah. <sighs> Complete with wax fancy seals. Maps. Yeah, it's very fancy. And she, she kind of gives you, she goes, it belonged to my late husband. I don't use it much, so uh, it's very, very fine. If you're doing work from your Eason Vale, it could be most useful to you. Thank you so much. Mm. And she's kind of holding her child. Closer. Oh. They load up your axe beast with the cheese wedges and the other foods. <laughs> uh, gently pet them, and Rebu kind of mounts up and kind of gestures for you all to mount up as well. Uh, Mira Mira goes, If you ever wish to visit us again, please, please do. You're always welcome here. Keep safe and keep an eye on those kids. We will. Um, if we anything happens, we will send a message to Eastendale Capital, which I believe is where you reside, yes? Indeed. Uh, yes, that is correct. We shall send a letter there forthwith if there's any problems. Thank you. Oh, if, there, if there's constipation, that's normal. Oh, in the children, you mean? Yes. <laughs> yes, medicine. Yes? No, every no, just town that we've bites. been known to just visit in general, constipation. Just <laughs> nipping that in the bud before they all get constipation and the... <laughs> We have some 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 dried fruits that might help with that. Yes, indeed. Prunes, stewards of constipation, they call us. <laughs> Take no, care, heroes. You're always welcome here. And you see, as the village people kind of wave, and the kids also go, "Bye, bye, our grooms friends." Oh. As you all, oh. the axe speak squawk excitedly, and take off. You travel a ways, just. Just over the horizon where the city, the town disappears. And I imagine you stop there. Yep. To oh, yeah. Our, Just on the outskirts. Friends. You dismount, and in the far distance, you can see the slight twinkling of the mansion set ablaze. Dying down, assumedly. This small candlelight <laughs> vigil, almost, that sits upon the mountaintop. Time passes. I'm assuming you inform Rebu. 
of most yeah. things. Oh, yeah. No, don't. It'll be funny. <laughs> don't tell him anything. <laughs> this giant flesh golem shows up. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we, te we tell him. Okay. What? I have to ask for a specific detail. Do you talk about how you got boars to travel with? I don't see why we wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I don't yeah. think we'd leave that out. I mean, it's not our boars. We had we had to use them to get across the desert. It wasn't like it was our choice. He so might get rode, jealous, though. You rode boars? Makes sense. The rugged land there is so unkind to the most beautiful and fluffy of axe beaks. They were yes. really friendly, but yeah, very different from these axe beaks. Um... Out of just chance, who's Axby? Who, who's Axby? Those are my Axby. Whose boar did you borrow specifically? Uh, uh, her name was. It was Heather at first. Heather, yes. Oh, great! Love that for me. Oh no! Oh, the gods An are cruel. Another, so another. Escapade of yours, Rebu? Oh, it was an escapade until she wanted to get married, and then it wasn't an escapade anymore. Good gods, man. So a how, you how know, many you... people have you been engaged to? Yeah, seriously, you kind of do this to yourself at this point. No, I'm very clear that it's not going to become a thing, and then sometimes people want it to become a thing, like That's a bigger not thing. How feelings work. I tell them, they just choose to forget. It feels like sometimes. Feelings are illogical. You sound like you sound like all of the humans say about my people. That is hurtful. Yeah, but how do you think probably I feel? correct. <laughs> how do you think I feel? You don't, you don't mind me saying, Mister Rebu, your serial philandering will one day come back to bite you. Uh, just if it has it several times already. Uh, he points towards you, Mila, and kind of gives like a painful nod. <laughs> Being able to change into anyone helps me avoid most of the troubles, truly. But I'm not a floozy. I'm very upfront. I don't know that those <laughs> things are mutually crosses, exclusive. Crosses his Rebu, arms in front of his chest. Nebu, why, why do you do that? What do you mean? Why, why do you gallivant? Because it's fun. Why? You know, it's funny. I don't know. It feels like I have to, almost. Well, that don't seem right. I'm not lying. I meet these girls, I tell them it's maybe a one or two time thing, and that's it. Don't that get born? Or lonely? He thinks or about complicated. it. Complicated? <laughs> complicated, yes. Boring, absolutely not. I don't know, maybe I I'm just... think not. Maybe I'm just speaking from experience, but, you know, I, I want to find... That one person that, that makes me whole, you know? That's fair. I don't want that. Why? Because I don't. Why? Not to, not to perpetrate the stereotype the humans say about my race, but I can understand his logic. Because and... my kind is hunted down and killed, and moving about is how I survive. But you got us. That is true. At least, going forward, make sure everyone understands what you're there for. I do that. I literally just told you I do that. Mm. There are no surprises. I communicate clearly. And then sometimes people don't think that's the case as time goes on, and I have to reiterate that. It leads to a fight. It leads to weapons being thrown, being chased out of town. You say Things as time happen. goes on, that's more than once or twice. Well, I visit, I travel, and I come back, and I, I check in, and sometimes it's they've moved on, they have their own families, and the perfect life that Milo seems to enjoy so much, I and other see. times they don't. And So you, you basically treat it like you guys are in a relationship, but you don't want the commitment. Yes. Yes. Precisely so that. You, you, you realize how messed up that is, right? Is it messed up? Yes! It Am might I crazy? Be... Am I crazy? It might I'm be why so many of them seem to think more of it than you do that's what i mean by communicating you guys have to be on the same page uh, i suppose that's fair i'm still trying to figure out why that's fun 
It's just so many different types of people to know. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a slide ahead if anyone wants to roll a perception. Eastkin's just gonna pat Hideon on the side and reunite with his axe beak friend. He's not paying attention. Okay. <laughs> it's not even important. It's just for roleplay purposes. 15. Does Rabu have to roll a perception? I mean, if he, if he wants to. No, he's being defensive. He's not focused on you at all. He's defending his case. Okay. He wouldn't you catch do? that Gaius was taking notes the entire time of everyone saying about this whole story. <laughs> so there's there's a whole page to the Odyssey about like, is it wrong to fling? Yay or nay in giant. <laughs> there's a poll. People can yeah, there's check a, in. There's an check their answer and mail it into the publisher. I'll check I'll check gonna, back gonna, in in three days. You're gonna go to capital <laughs> cities and be like, hello sir, I hate to disturb you. Could you take a quick survey with me, please? Oh. Where is your sense? <laughs> What's your body count? <laughs> What's I, your body count? Oh god. I imagine you regale with the rest of the story. Um which he listens to very intently. A lot of it is quite far-fetched, given your close proximity to Rosh Ragnus, but Aya being mentioned makes sense, and time kind of goes on. Sergal is mentioned. Uh, who? Yeah, who, who the hell is that? Who's that guy? He lives in you. <laughs> However, eventually, evening turns to dark, dark night. It is now pitch black. The only light illuminating is the far-off flame of the mansion itself. Do you guys take a light spell or make a campfire or you just sit in the darkness? Sit in the darkness. Oh, I will cast lights. Good <laughs> door, door AF. My dark vision, no! Oh! Ah! <laughs> you fool! three-ish hours pass. You guys wait for a while. But eventually... East Gang, you hear footsteps approaching, and you can see the grass on the ground parting unnaturally. Cast Ice Knife. He'll, <laughs> 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 He'll turn in that direction, uh, and his his little head crest will pop up. Agrun, is that you? Sure enough. Out of invisibility comes Agrun. Rabbit almost doubles over, like, is drinking from a water skin, is like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo me, yo, me too, bestie. <laughs> <laughs> you see Agrud kind of, again, slouching ever so slightly to make himself look a little bit smaller. You can see that he's actually, he actually has a backpack on, like a makeshift backpack. And you can see that there are some, you assume, books and scrolls inside. Uh, at his side, you see his spell book. And as he reveals himself and looks down to you, you watch as he reaches his hand slowly <clears throat> behind himself and pulls out another pearl of Necrecta <gasps> in his hand. There it is. Kai is going to walk up to him. I must be careful. <clears throat> the source of this thing is quite evil. And he hands it to you, Kai. Kai is going to grab it in his hand. Bare hand? With... Yeah. And then okay. put it away. And with an orb in hand, your task here, Perthlin and Delvaria, now done. That is where we end the session for tonight. Oh, As you have another oh, orb of let's which go. you have another orb to which cast a ritual upon. And that is where we will end the session. Oh man, we're gonna have to get defenses set. We're gonna have to Ponder the orb. Yeah, you know, this one's going to be a doozy. It was a four-month orb. A yeah, four, right. if you will. A forb. You guys are so close to completing probably one of the longest arcs in the entire campaign. And again, Let's I'm sorry, this, this arc is the longest. I no, think. it's been this great. This arc. It's been great. Do we, yeah. do we know how long in-game we were between when we left Unisable and when we got back? It was like a week, right? It was like a few weeks, yeah. Mm -hmm. Multiple weeks? Two weeks? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Because I know we, guys... were in, we were Two in weeks. Arc Historia for like a week. Yeah. And it took Put us, it I think, like 10 days to get there, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it took you a while. And then you had to also do the competition. And then you had to go right. to the Oasis as well. And there was a couple days of training while Aya did some research. I'm, I'm so sure did you say maybe like three weeks? 
say like two weeks, two, three two weeks. weeks someone, okay. someone in chat might have been keeping a log. I, I was about to time. say, I'm, I'm more than certain someone in the YouTube comments will tell us what, how long we've been gone for in universe. Yeah. Yeah. That would just be good, good information to have in character. Also, this arc uh, finishes up summer, actually, and we're going into fall now. Nice. Oh shit! My the favorite Devil's season. <laughs> actually, that's not that's not true. Summer and fall are my favorites. I fucking hate winter and spring. Winter's my favorite. Season. Autumn is my favorite. Oh, get out of here, Mark! I'm also, sorry. I'm I, from California. I just <sighs> I want to say personally, Zan, thank you so much for Zan. being here. Hell yeah. yeah! This was a blast. It was a blast having you. Sorry, we had to leave you twice. No, also, no. I realized I never got rid of the Strigal picture to buy. Oh god, guys, ah! that's really cool. No, why? Ah! Away, Vicky, don't I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> Away oh, with you. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if the oh, yeah. action figure gets dropped into the trash can. Oh, oh god. But he had manuals. Zan, thank you so much. Thank you it so much for last, me. dude. Yep. Thank this you. If you don't mind me getting sappy uh, for a moment, you thank you so much for having me along for this crazy ride. The entire experience has been beyond invigorating, and I'm very grateful to uh, have had the chance to, to to be here. And thank you, crew. Thank you, chat, for welcoming into this awesome community. And thank you, Monty, for letting me occupy a small corner of your you know, world of wonders. I love Sturgall, and I'm, I'm really excited. He is Don't a worry, cool he dude. has he has been added to the protected list, so <laughs> keep <Yep>. safe. <laughs> oh. Ah. ah. We should we should probably we gotta go around do the horn. Our, our we gotta do it. Yeah, I gotta go, go sleepy. I still yep. sick. All right, guys. Let's start with thing. Gaijin then. All right, hey everyone. Gaijin Goomba here. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time. Go watch my new video. I know it's a little different than what I usually do, but it's one of my essentially J vlogs where I go to the most batshit insane arcade you have ever seen. I want you to imagine like. TGI Fridays with all the crazy ass Americana on the wall, but it's an arcade, but is also like there there are jet engines that are just laying out in 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 the the parking lot, and they've got a go kart course that it just looks like a NASCAR track. I, it, this oh. is the most bizarre sounding Applebee's I've ever heard of. <laughs> oh, it gets it gets better. They have they they don't have just batting cages. They have an internalized independent building that just feels like you're in a stadium with like concession stands. And there is an entire warehouse that is full, and I mean full, of pool tables with stained glass lights over Bro. every single table. Bro, you just went to fucking like Japanese Jenks in fucking Point Pleasant, New Jersey. I guess. <laughs> like that's the thing. That's the thing. I like I talk about Japanese shit all the time, but this is the first time like Japanese shit was like super American, like authentically American. Uh, like just, just please go watch that video. It's, it's it's not getting the attention I think. It, rather, the place is not getting the attention I think it deserves. Uh, I am working on a new video because everyone and their mom is like, "What are your thoughts on Godzilla minus one? Buckle up because I have a thirty minute video where I have so much I need to address. Because oh my god, this movie." I, I do want to talk about Blue Eye Samurai. I there are so much more Pokemon stuff I could talk about. Like I, I am not short on ideas, and I'm also working on a on a on a very very large uh, green project. I'll just leave it at that. Hey, so hey, um, hey Gaijin. Did yeah. You hear, did you hear the latest rumor about the new Pokemon? No. Okay, good. I'm not gonna say it out loud because I have something to tell no you. No spoilers. Later. Oh okay. no, that's that's exactly why I didn't say anything, Monty. Okay. That's it's not me. even spoil. It's not even spoilers. It's a rumor. Go watch my shit, please. <laughs> Kaijin, I hope you feel better. Uh, me too. Yeah, get Aki, soon, Aki has it the worst. Like, holy cow, I oh, gave it to no. her. Drink. We'll see y'all get, no. get well soon. Dude, we have had, like, gigantic, like, dense soup for three dinners. Like, okay, it's, chat, it's amazing. Chat, so all this means is you got to go to Gaijin Goomba's Twitch, find his throne, and suggest Send him more soup. soup. Oh, shit. So, uh, oh, VN, no, do, oh. VN, the cleric of aspects in our Discord, said, managed to get my timeline up. I'm not updated with episode 58 yet. But it was 34 days between the party first getting the Unisei Bowl and leaving for the Oasis. Jeez. 
So, so that's get, almost a month? Almost a month, that's yeah. That's over Holy a month. crap. Yeah. That's a lot more than two to three I, weeks. Depending on what month we left on, it's a month and three days. Or four days. Ugh. Unless months are different in Alabast. I mean, we don't know. Alton, excuse me. Okay, Sorry, that's Jimmy. Please continue. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I, I know I need to make more yokai races. It's been years since I've done that, and people yeah, are still man. buying them. So, dude, yeah, dude, I'm in the same boat as you. Maybe we should like just hang out and talk about that shit because it's been so long since I had a chance to write D and D shit, yes. and I have to get back into it. Please. Sure. Fuck it. Why not? Let's go. Also, by by Zito's boy, he's got what like ten hours left. I mean, if we want to move over to me, I can segue to that. Yeah. Do it. Get in there, Zito. All right. You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, where I play indie games. I, I'm going to be either playing Wormtown or Lethal a Company with my buddies over on Noise Pollution. Uh, I play cards on Sunday. I draw sometimes. I Now that I have mentioned it out loud, yes, I am actually working on another D&D book that is going to be all about brand new subclasses for already existing classes. Like, at least one for each class, including Artificer. Uh, but beyond that, uh, my son only has 10 hours to live. Well, oh, no. 10, 10 hours to purchase anyway. I was going to say. Toothpick has survived. He he has survived the fall, and we're at 238. That's crazy. Jeez. Before I looked at this, after the session, before the session, it was at 226. So oh, I don't yeah. know what the fuck I'm going to do, but if we can get to 250 before, like, 10 hours end. So by 12 o'clock EST is when this will be done with. So you have like 11 hours left to get a toothpick of your own. And if we get the 250, I'll figure out something funny to do. I still have to do Baby Shark and uh, and a Two Who game because of the charity incentives I did. So I'll have more news on when the fuck I got to subject myself to Baby Shark in the future. Please buy my son. Well, that's Zito. I guess I'll go next. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, find me on Twitter and Blue Sky at Mark Allen Jr. On TikTok at Mark Allen Jr. VA. Uh, here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. Follow my one-eyed fat cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. Go watch uh, the uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Uh, oh, God, I'm failing at the name of this. Uh, Divisions of Calais. Uh, if you watch it in the English dub, you'll hear me being a, a villain, and it was really cool, and I don't get to be villains often, and I had a blast. So check that out. Uh, also, I'll have some other anime announcements soon. I'm behind on a couple, and then there's a couple things that'll be coming out soon that I'll be able to talk about. Um, and I, there's just quite a few things on the horizon, and as soon as I can talk about them, I'm really excited to share them with everybody. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, follow me on Twitter and or Blue Skies. Also, uh, Sunday will be another three-hour music challenge stream. If you didn't catch the last one, I added Eurobeat to the wheel of genres Ooh. because I like a challenge. So, hey, mm. we might have to do a Eurobeat this year, this week. Uh, who knows? It'll be fun. Come on by. That's Sundays at uh, 3 p.m. Central Time. Hey, That's um, going to be it for me. Real, real quick, can I also just mention I forgot that I, I also may have some voice acting news. Nice. Uh, by by the end of this month, like maybe like just a little bit before Christmas, something cool might appear with my voice in it. A third episode, if you will. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm Punky Wrench episode three. I, I get to play Scratch again. Hey, <laughs> hey, let's go. And, and apparently, I get a little bit more of a predominant role in here in the in the episode. So I'm I'm like big villain for that episode, and I can't wait to hear it. Dude, villain high fives. Let's go. Villain high five. I love monkey wrench, man. So I cool. get to I get to be a little bastard, man. Also, the guy the guy who plays Shrike, me and him were playing Lethal League on Friday. So yeah, you get to hear <laughs> Shrike and you get to hear Shrike and Scratch yell at each other in Lethal League or Good. Lethal Company. So.
Edward Zenith Bosco. Scrim. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Snuck Absolutely in swiped in. Edward Bosco, what can they find you? No, you go first, Zanny. You no, guys no, say goodbye. I insist. No, no, no. A age before beauty. Uh, fuck. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, that's why you should be going first, Bosco. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Thursdays over at uh, Monty Glue's channel, uh, twitch.tv slash Monty Glue, where I play in her Dungeon of the Mad Mage. I'll be over around 7 yeah. p.m. PST. I play a human fighter, and we are currently trying to come to grips with the fact that uh, there's a death tyrant on the floor who doesn't like us, and if we decide to leave the floor, there's a lich on the previous floor who doesn't like us, so kind of so stuck. We need to make friends, man. <laughs> uh, we so try. <laughs> just to so stay on the floor you're on. It's no, they made a way. friend. They made a friend of a mimic that was a boat that had tiny little legs. I love that guy. That guy's great. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, that sounds fucking rad. Uh, you can also find me Mondays over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash uh, where I'm gonna be DMing still, 7 p.m. Uh, PST uh, for Bosco and Monty here. Uh, we got a D&D campaign rolling on over there. Um, and then on Tuesdays, we're on Halo 4 Lasso, so look for me there or on Bosco, Edward Bosco's channel. Uh, that'll be fun. Uh, Mech Warrior is for sure gonna come back. Uh, Shadowrun is gonna be a thing coming up soon as well. But the exact dates on those stuff, I'm not quite certain yet. But if you want to catch me or find me on those, just follow my socials. You'll see me post them. That's me. Monty, go. Oh, my God. No, we're not find... skipping over you, Bosco. Fucking I'm not do skipping. It. I'm not. We're not done yet. Go ahead, Monty. Hi. I feel like I'm being used right now. Um... <laughs> Bosco's a jerk. Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. You can find me on Blue Sky at Monty Glue. You can find me on YouTube at Monty Glue. I'm Monty Glue basically everywhere. Um, tomorrow will be more Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Uh, and uh, Friday is more Final Fantasy. So we're doing dungeons right now. We got one third of the way through all of the Realm Reborn dungeons we need to do. And it's not even all the Realm Reborn dungeons yet. But those are the ones we're going to be doing. Uh, and then uh, on Monday we have Mass Effect. We're back. We're back doing Mass Effect. So come and come and check that out. It's a, it's a fun time. Jazz hands. Nice. And last and certainly not least, Distortion Devil will be right up after I finish telling you. You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. I'm gonna fucking miss you, Zan. I know. We've been playing D D for a fucking decade, and it was surreal to have you in this campaign. It was a blast to do this in front of an audience. And I hope you'll come back, but at least I have you on Mondays. I would love to come back uh, whenever it makes sense to, but it's not like you're not going to see me. Here's the nice thing, I'll still see there's, you. There's no reason Sergal can't send letters. Mm -hmm. True. Yep. It's true. He still exists. He didn't it's, die. Yeah. <laughs> the party learns about object permanence. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I love what that the episode. What fuck is this? <laughs> oh my God. Distortion Devil, take us home. You can find me on the Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil, as well as uh, Tumblr and Blue Sky at Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesday, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, currently playing through Yakuza Like a Dragon. Woo! As well as Deus Ex Mankind Divided and God of War 2018. Dad of Boy. <laughs> Dad of Boy. 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 Where Kratos has not, uh, has not had a character arc and he's still screaming and yelling. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. You just—you um, you guys had some pretty major plot developments in the last episode too. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, I know my Norse lore, and so I—I <laughs> uh, I see things coming from a mile away. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. Th there'll be some fun uh, twists for you, though. Oh yeah. Uh, what else do I do? I do homebrew. Uh, recently released the Fulgermancer Spellbook uh, on the DMs Guild. Uh, that's been receiving some pretty good reception. And so I am going to start soon here working on the Photomancer Spellbook, the uh, Light and Radiance Spellbook. Ooh. Light spells aren't just for clerics and paladins anymore. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, I, I mean that... All of a uh, sudden, guy <laughs> summons a fucking, like... A spirit bomb made of pure light. Let the Holy shit! Uh, <laughs> he learned that in the Photomancer spellbook available soon on DM's Guild. You should call it the "fuck you" vampire spellbook. Indeed, <laughs> I feel like that doesn't quite roll off the tongue well. Not unless vampires you sell it hate me. 
What you mean the the F Y V S P? That's great. No, you you just need a picture like the meat of the front image of the whole book is you fucking throwing a light spell at Dracula flow. <laughs> Vampires hate him. Learn this one trick that will make. Oh Vampires hate him. Clerics want to be him. In just 30 um, seconds, I'm going to tell you why this vampire doesn't stand a chance. Yes, other than that, uh, this... I, I, did we get through everybody? I, I wasn't That's everybody, yeah. Time. Yeah, no, that was yeah. everyone. Yeah, Take us home! Every, people did my job for me this week. Uh, this episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! That's why Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order. As well, uh, be sure to check out our Spring Store. We've got uh, all sorts of fantastic designs. Uh, more in the future. Yeah. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, <laughs> we should do like a Christmas sweater. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ugly I, Christmas sweater. I, I want to do like a Delvaria themed one. Well, guys, guys, I wanted to say it out loud, but I didn't want to break the flow of the episode. We have a new design. It's it's right in front of us. Bug puffs? Bug, Bug puffs. Oh my god. Oh god. Can you imagine if we could just make a pillowcase for bug puffs? Like it's a oh Nishido my god. chip. Little, it's little like, bug puff pillows. It's yes. Chester Cheetah, but it's Otho in his shifted form. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yes. Um, where we leave off our bits and subs? Killer Chansey with 10 bits. Let me see. All right. Uh, Small Nyanta, thank you for the 1,000 bits. I'm surprised there isn't some Looney Tunes level schematic Otho drafted up with Nightfell. I mean, <laughs> Killer before. Chansey, 10 bits. You learned this time. Oh, we're at, okay. Uh, Killer Chansey, thank you for the 10 bits. I prefer Dry Bones halftime show. Gross. Hang on. I'll show you what that sounds like. What? <laughs> no. Connor, why I do you have a skeleton in your bedroom? I hate, I hate oh, the no. implication of Dry Bones because it implies I'm a wet Monty. <laughs> well, sometimes I mean, comparatively. I, I mean, do you want me to get uh, someone on throne gave me a uh, a alligator jaw where its teeth are actually made out of dice? Do you want me to roll those? Oh my god, that sounds so cool. It's fucking metal as shit. I'm looking at it right now. Well, while you're looking at that, Callum draws thinking for the five bits. Milo made bug popcorn. Oh. Yeah. Me compachi thinking for the twenty bits. Just a thought. If Milo could cast Giant's Might, would he be six feet tall? Probably yeah. closer to five eight, because it doubles your height exactly. So you're almost oh as tall as me. Oh, I would oh be six. God. Never mind. He, he's normal now. <laughs> uh, I lied to that child. <laughs> <laughs> Small Nyanta, thank you for the one thousand bits. Uh. Gauze yeah. 21, thank you for the 15 bits. Uh, oh my god, man, have some self control, Revu. I can't. Sex feels too good. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, or... sorry, that's just the way he is, man. Don't I don't take his name in vain. It's fine. Uh, He's eventually going to get caught up with father him. out of this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, Orin Christ. <laughs> Uh, Roar Hockey Dude, think of the 100 bits. Lynn is going to be so mad when sand gets everywhere in the castle. Oh no! <laughs> we get back she and everyone like... just dumps out their boots on the entry. She doesn't like sand. It's, <laughs> it's tough. tough. And it gets and everywhere. It gets everywhere. <laughs> Glycerius, think of the 1000 bits. Okay, guys, we visit Odette to cure the kids. We get back, get the orb. Two days tops. Two weeks plus labor. <laughs> 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 34 St. Tosh Morty! <laughs> hey, you came out of it with really good connections to the East with Delvarius. That is so very true. Oh, yeah. And only a few scars. Most of them mental, but, you know. <laughs> I call that a win. Let me go the take my master... NyQuil. <laughs> you can go if you want to. 
No, yeah. it's, you can leave your friends behind. <laughs> no. We don't dance. Your friends don't dance. And if they don't well, dance. Here's your bed. Uh, the game master, <laughs> Eric. Thank you. What? <laughs> Just destroy the blow. <laughs> yeah. I, gave, I gave you an out, so now you're laying in it. <sighs> the Game Master Eric, thank you for the four uh, party raid. Thank you. Omega Waffles, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, thank you for playing Xan. We love our sweet, silly owl boy. Oh. Callum Draws, thank you for the 25 bits. Episode title Goodbye Summer, Hello Fall. Uh, Callum Draws, thank you for the additional 15 bits. Go kiss that man, Stragal. Kiss Redmond for all of us. <laughs> Salutes. We it's do need an episode title, yeah. I think we had a good one earlier. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. I feel like I should also mention that uh, the Wark Head Urn I did for my animation class is getting put in my college's student gallery. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, send us that. Wark is for the academics. Not, not physically, obviously. Yeah, the picture, please. Uh, Bubba Bob, think of the 100 bits. Connor, this is the second time I've seen you go to a desert oasis to get a flower to cure a deadly magical disease. Oh, God, you're right. What was the first time? <laughs> the first time was in Laney's campaign. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think Oh, good, so you're that. experienced. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, I mean, asthma had radiation poisoning, so... <laughs> That was a bit Oops. different, but yeah, Oops. wow. I guess you're right. <laughs> uh, what next? Goss, when you want to think for the five bits, I can't wait for Milo's Berserk arc when he goes to Knocked Country. <laughs> uh, Say level hello, one my little friend. Level one Eevee, thank you for the 100 bits. Xan, 100 years, expectables, 20 more seasons. And a movie. <laughs> He's going to start uh, his own Unexpectables called The Expectables. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Zen Leader, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, Fly Ho. Ellie Kitts, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, Birds Fly Free. Aw. Uh, and 20 bits from Magic Ninjago. How much did you scream at Lethal Company? Oh, I answered this. I guess you weren't there. Uh, I came back and answered your question. It was... Uh... I didn't scream at any of the monsters. I screamed because the voice actor for Shrike blew an air horn in my face. It was a good time. It was nice. funny. <clears throat> All right, do we have any last minute episode titles? I have three written down right now. Connor, you mentioned there was one that you saw that you liked. You um, I think I, I think it was it was said. I didn't read it. Uh, Damn it, look? Bosco. What? It's fucking Bosco. It's your fault. What did I do? Took Connor's job, and now he doesn't know what it was. <laughs> and now I don't know. <laughs> I, I right know. now, right now, I've written down doctor's orders, fly home, and birds fly free. But <laughs> bug bug snags. Bug puffs feels. Or bug puffs. That's... Yeah, bug puffs. I'll write down bug puffs. That that's kind of my vote right now. Yeah. I like because you you made the bug the the illness like a bug puff away. There was a and really good one, but I can't remember what it was right now. I all must not have been that good. Who civilized? Oh, bug. Got him. No, it was good. I'm just stupid. Civilized instinct is also good. I'm blaming Bosco, Connor. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, get well, it in the chat. Hashtag out. blame Bosco. We can, in the meantime, we can, we can go over it later. Yeah, we should find someone to raid. Oh, I was I was gonna suggest someone, can, but they just ended. Fuck. Oh no. Can I can I volunteer Zan to choose somebody because it's his last yeah. time with us and it'll be his last chance. Zan, do you Ever. have anybody you want to raid? Um, let's see who's on. I see a few people, but I think we got eighteen plus. Someone's doing so. Oh, let's just do Thero. I'd be happy with Thero. Thero. All right. Ugh. Zan has chosen Thero. <laughs> Jeez. Ah. <laughs> uh. He might be right. listening to the new episode, so... No spoilers. No spoiler, Reiner. Um, our raid message... What should our... It feels like Bug Puffs is just the automatic Bug Puffs, story. yes. Bug yeah, puffs. Bug Puffs. All right, Bug Puffs. Bug Puffs. <laughs> Wait, don't... Don't... I, you can't corrupt my musical ideas for this jingle, so... Okay, yeah, okay. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll take it again without any sort of... Cadence. If it's not on my desk by next Thank week, you. I'm going to be very... <laughs> Bug Puffs.